No, I'm going to start that again. <laughs> the amount of times I have to restart, I have to edit this before I start this podcast because you guys fucking right, joke right Starting now. again from now. Did you hear about the two thieves who stole a calendar? No. They each got six months. <laughs> that's a fucking hell, Daddy. That's actually quite... <laughs> Uh, what's the difference between a bag of cocaine and a four-year-old? Eric Clapton wouldn't let a bag of cocaine fall out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Oh. <laughs> oh. Spicy. Go on, bottle. Jeez. Ooh. Every time. <laughs> Uh, good evening, you pieces of shit. Shabbat shalom. Welcome back to another episode of In the Doghouse, the podcast that wants to get children off of drugs and into the back of my van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hot again. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse, mate. It's, you should see, I've got them all lined up. <laughs> oh, right. Marlon, let's ring, go. Yeah, ring the fucking bell. Housekeeping. My merch. It's on the website. It's really good shit. There's new t-shirts on the website, new isn't there? New fucking t-shirts. I'm actually sporting one right now. They you... are legit. I've You've got... got 80s and 90s in three different colours. What more do I you know. want? I know. I've got my fucking super retro wave uh, 80s one in a nice sort of blue. It's called Sapphire. Sapphire. Okay. Thank you. And uh, well, yeah, what else we got? We got the uh, oh, the 90s one, the super triangular, shapey, colory. Oh, she's a honey. Fucking all out there in a bag of chips. It was someone's like a full set. <laughs> Someone's like, you've got full Miami Vice and Saved by the Bells back there, <laughs> Tribe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, yeah, all going on. Um, new DPRC merch, Marlon? What's this, where, where are we are on that? They haven't landed with me yet. All right, well, they'll be out soon. If not, they might be out this week. I don't know, have a look. Uh, fucking, you work it out you for might yourselves. Be there, why not? Just, might clear, be. just clearing customs from Cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting on that fucking paperwork, Joe Lowe. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, find it. It's on there. I'm, I'm, do it. I'm not your real dad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> www. in the doghouse podcast. uk. You know where um, it is. New handle website coming soon, oh. so it's just going to be easy. Oh, well, oh, new website. Yeah, I'm not telling you what it is because I haven't bought it yet. So if I tell anyone what it is, they might go and buy it first. I oh, imagine. Imagine if Charlie bought it. Take a guess, people. <laughs> Get on there. You, just, you click on it and it's just. Na, 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 DPRC.com. <laughs> just a picture of Jilo at Tiananmen Square. <laughs> Jilo looking like fucking DJ Khaled again on the back of his T-shirt. <laughs> 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 oh, mate. Oh, fucking hell. Right. I'm massive shout out to massive shout-out to Patreons. You are literally the assholes that keep this podcast going, about You we're better for the fuck do fuck all. Nothing. We couldn't even turn the lights on. No, li- literally. We just paid the electricity bill, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. I <Icy>. see. <laughs> yeah, that cooler is not cheap. No, no. Or the ice machine, or the fridge, or the other shit we got coming. So, yeah, appreciate it, guys, because it would be very sober and very hot without you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you can join the Patreon for as little as £1.25 a month, all the way out to £6. To £6, one, we get 10 pence, 10% off the merch. All 10 pence off 10, the merch. 10 pence, imagine. <laughs> Times is <bizarre>. hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can... Uh... <laughs> You can, uh, all levels of the Discord gets you, uh, Patreon gets you access to the, I haven't even had a drink. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, you finish it. <laughs> right, so you can join the Patreon for as little as £1.25 a month, all the way up to £6. Uh, the top tier gets you 10% off all of the merch. All levels of the Patreon gets you on the Discord. Yeah. And also... Monthly Pit Viper giveaway if you're that is whore. Hey, big up the big up my man who won the Pit Vipers, emailed him, be like, Oh Shag, you've won a set of Pit Vipers. He's like, Drab, I didn't even know I've entered. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, just you... assuming he's northern. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's just guessing. So yeah, big up you for uh, for winning, mate. Yeah, just uh yeah, like you say, become a patron, you're automatically entered into the monthly pit viper giveaway. Big up Pit Viper UK for helping us out with that one. And yeah. uh, next draw is on the 30th. 30th of June. So there you and go. we'll be on the Discord doing it live. Yeah, don't be cancelling your subscription, you scumbags. Otherwise, you don't get fuck all and we'll kick you out of the Discord like the scum you are. So yeah, there you go. Fuck and you. if you're a Patreon as well, you can come to the event. Oh, the event. Yes, the events, tickets. There are, uh, is there any tickets? There's a few. There is some tickets left. Good, yes. Not uh, a lot. Okay, well, get them on a fucking hot. Uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Sweet. And finally, big up, big up, sponsor of this episode, JR Tree and Land Services, Marlonis. Do you recall when I tried to trim the tree in my... <laughs> <laughs> Note the operative word there of try. It looks like... Oh, fuck. I mean, it does look like 
Ray Charles has been let loose with Husqvarna. Um, yeah, so it's a fucking mess. And my missus reminds me of that every fucking time the sun comes out. She's like, you really did do a fucking exit job in that tree, <laughs> didn't you? I'm like, yeah, I know. So don't be like me. Don't be a fucking idiot. Don't, be like, don't oh, have a go here. Oh, do it myself. No, get a man in who knows what he's fucking doing. And actually make a half tidy job of it. That is just one of the many things that JR Tree and Land Services, literally in the name, JR Tree and Land Services, get him in, get him to do it. You know, it's it's one of those things in it. You, it, you look at it and go, should have got someone in to do that really, shouldn't I? Because uh, that ain't growing back for a hot minute. I was like, oh, I properly fucked that job, didn't I? Yeah, it literally looks like, my tree looks like a fucking amputee. You know, it, 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 he sings like, a, I sing like Missing an amputee. Missing so many limbs, it's a nugget. <laughs> so I sing like an amputee. Can't carry a note, can't hold a tune. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, yeah, hit him up on Instagram uh, at JR Tree and Land Services. Also, link in the episode description, top of the link in bio, everywhere you need it. All his contact details are in the episode description. So, yeah, hit him up for all of your tree and land based needs. Right, Marlon, who are we joined by tonight? So, we have the one, the only Uncle Spunkle. Evening. Evening. <laughs> and um, the one hell of a cunt, wow, Mr. Ed. Look at Jesus Christ. That's a brave thing to say, sat next to him. You seen the size of a brick? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> hello, sunshine. Hello. <laughs> not going to lie about it, am I? No, I suppose not. No. Uh, right, should we start off? Bunko, how's your week been, mate? Oh, I've had a lovely week. Yeah, done anything? Uh, got back from holiday. Had some time off. Oh yeah, you went away, didn't you? How you? Oh, you got came back from holiday and had some time off. Yeah, I, well, I don't want to work too much. Well, I've got. I've had the rest of this week off and next week off because I was meant to have the keys to my house. Oh, um, right. What's going on with that? Uh, solicitors at fucking overpaid useless cunts. But I don't want to go... <laughs> yes, they are. Don't want to go into that too much. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just got some time off. So I'm just relaxing. Just chilling? Hello. Yeah. How was your holiday? Oh, it was lovely. Went over to um to Germany in the car. Yeah? Went around the ring. Drive right? Yeah. Is that in the Gulf? Yeah. Big, how, dare I ask, how much fuel it used? Uh... Not too much, maybe like four four tanks. Four tanks. It's only, it's only about five hundred mile away. It's closer than Scotland. Is it? Yeah, well, it's top, like, of, uh, top of Scotland. Yeah, I want to yeah. say last time we did it, we did it like eleven hours door to door. Oh, that's not bad then. Oh fucking hell! I always think it's mad. I don't know. There's always truckers that get there in eight hours over the continent. It's me like, oh, I couldn't do that in a day. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell! Was well, you at the ring then? Did he? Yeah, yeah. I had a fucking lovely time. Yeah, fucking incredible place, isn't it? Yeah, you didn't yeah. piss it on the ring then. No, no, no. It's quite it's quite busy there because it's bank holiday. All oh, right, um, quite a few yellow flags and fucking idiots. But all oh, right, no, it's good. It's nice to cruise down the autobahns and not have to look over my shoulder for <laughs> even <and> Somerset police. <laughs> <laughs> I have literally my ringer has been going like a rabbit's nose when I come back from Leeds from Gabriel's marathon. I was absolutely caning it up there. I was caning it back, fucking van on top of a bridge front there, and I was out in the fast lane with no one around me doing about oh, I don't know. It's possibly doing like 90, 95, I don't know. And I was like, all oh, right. But luckily, nothing's come through in the post yet. And it's been a month. So is oh, that... you should be fine. Yeah, I was going to say, usually it's like within two weeks, isn't it? If yeah. not less. So I'm thinking. Your number plate probably fell off. It's a Land Rover, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Land Rover spec screws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dealership, fucking Land Rover uses cunts, probably still in registered yet, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I ain't done it yet. <laughs> it probably comes back as a trade plate. <laughs> Someone at Yeovil Land Rover's getting a fat bill. <laughs> I'm half expected some letters to come because like the French, Belgium oh, yeah. and German autobahns were lovely. Oh, but so it was just too lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but since Brexit happened, they can't fucking touch me. So <laughs> <laughs> Catch me what are they going to do? How about that? We <laughs> cruising back to Calais just with my foot down in France and saw a few speed cameras. Like, I'm not lifting. They can't, they can't get me. <laughs> All the letters just get to the jungle and use it as firewood anyway. So yeah. don't worry about it. Maybe fine. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So do you... Uh, the tires and brakes, are right? Yeah, or do yeah. you not, not cane it too hard then? No, I, I need to do rear pads. But, um, That's not too bad. No, I was no. assuming you'd have fucking done the tires in, fried the brakes, and no, just, no, 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 not just, too bad. Or you, it's one of those things. It's like you remember you have to drive this car home, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, the car was spot on. So yeah, I'm happy. Did you do time anything? I didn't get any good times in because like nearly every, all but one were yellow flagged at some point. So it's still really fun. But it fucks with your time. Yeah, you've got to say that. completely. Was it? Was it? Is it like? Was it like forty minutes a lap in it ish? <laughs> I did <laughs> in, <laughs> <laughs> in the cold. Me driving like a bit of a girl. I did like nine forty. 
fucking hell, that's, that's going all right there, isn't it? Because I remember yeah, there's 13 miles. The only the only reason I say that is because, like everyone else I expect, remembers Sabine Schmidt saying she could do that lap time in a van doing it in like 10 minutes. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did oh, just, just over 10 minutes six years ago when I went in the Audi, but that's just a, like a diesel just, Audi. Something. I bet you were driving that like a, on, an, on the nail though, weren't you? I don't know. It's different. Everything's so much bigger. You feel like... All the undulations and the hills and the corners. That like, if you haven't got a fast car, it doesn't pull out of the corners or up the hills. Oh, so. I suppose, yeah. Fuck it, I just love the carousel. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, is that the, that's the, the, the banks bit? That's in there, it, yeah. with all the graffiti on it. That is incredible. Do you not get fined for like writing on the carousel? I think no, get... everyone at night goes on and spray paints stuff. Oh, I don't think yeah. any, no, no one gets done for it. It sort of adds to it, really. All uh, right. Can you pull it mic in a bit or come into the mic a bit closer? I don't think there's any more give in it. You might have to get your mouth. I've got nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a man, yeah. a man use My, a chair like a bouncy <laughs> <laughs> My feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> oh, you were like... <laughs> <laughs> it was like the big, like big saw laugh. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> If I could make a gif out of that and just have it on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all in all good trip, mate. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Bang in. You've, you, you, what you've done is you've moved closer to the mic and pushed the mic <laughs> further away from you. Is that better? It doesn't have to be like, it's just, yeah, just, there you go. It sounds good. Yeah, or just because I'm going to be... I can this. shout. I don't care. <laughs> you can be, the thing is, you can be as loud as you want, which is fine, because I always bring your decibels down. But if you're too quiet, I have to bring you up, and then I bring up the entire background as well, which like, every squeak, every fucking hit on a vape, every creak from the fucking cooler, or the ice machine that's just gone off. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about my fucking little bitchy audio chat. How was your yeah. weekend? Shout out Reginald Cash. Fuck off. How was your weekend? Oh, mate, my week's been depressing. Why so? Uh... Well, I, I might have had a little bit of a boo-boo with a fuel tanker. Oh, no. Yeah, not... You didn't do a hedger, did you? Uh, I did a hedger, uh, a gay blender, oh. uh, almost a river, <gasps> and uh, there was some colourful language. Moral of the story, don't listen to non-driving cunts in that. You can turn around down there. They're always down there. They're fucking not drive. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even do a fucking backy on a push bike down there, let alone turn a fucking fuel tanker. But I did it. I did it. And all I did was, well, there was one little bit of a moment. Um, so there was a slate roof, right? Picture it now. A slate roof. Can beautiful see it, it was. It was pristine. It was beautiful. One careful lady owner, Vickers wife. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so oh. I, I got down there and I was like, that's all right, just a bit of a 164 point turn, carried on twiddling, twiddling, twiddling as you do. It was it like uh, Austin Powers? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. More Philip Schofield. But, um, so uh, what a shunting around in a tight cap. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Chocolate sauce all over me chin. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, so like just the angle of the I was it, it was just, fucking jobs fuck drive basically. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, all right, if I hedge it on the near side, full chat, yeah, then I can get past the gable end of the house yeah. where the slate roof is, it's fine because obviously fuel tanker, metal. And I was fully loaded as well. And there's always a fucking water course near me as well. Always a fucking water course. You I couldn't even chuck some spill mats. levels, down. won't you? And uh, yeah, so I, I, I hedged it uh, so that basically half my windscreen was in the hedge. Oh my God. The uh, near side mirror guard, that gone chiro like that <laughs> fucked off. So then... The hedge was in a bank. I didn't realise there was a bank there. Oh. So it started sliding down. So to imagine like the slate sticking at that. My tank has come into this great fucking audio. And, can, isn't yeah. it? No, I, I, and all of a sudden it's just gone like this. So of course, I think to myself, all right, well, that's fucking brilliant. That's pierced me tank. Yeah, like, that's, and, that, that's got four cube of caro in it. That's nice. So as soon as I pull off this, but it hadn't, it just it just snapped the fucking slate, fortunately. Oh, thank God. So uh, yeah, I got up there, I rang my boss and I said... Um, I've made a fudgy. I'm going home, calling a taxi. <laughs> yeah, this, this kind of so hi, so it's hi, hi, Nick, it's, uh, it's Ed from Wales. Um, fuck you, fuck Avonmouth, fuck <laughs> Avonmouth deliveries, fuck Tinknell Fuels, fuck this, I'm going home. He was like, oh, uh, uh, what's happened? And I hung up on the cunt and just carried on doing the rest of my deliveries, letting him think I was just driving home in his really expensive 71 plate tanker <laughs> like a lunatic down a fucking M5. Like. So, uh, 
that was cool. Um, apart from that, all I've been doing is lines of Huel in my room, really. Just <laughs> listening to German Gabber, just prepping myself for Glastonbury Festival. So oh, you're uh, going down to that mess, are you? Oh, mate, I can't wait for it. I've got, I've got a hot date for Saturday as well, me and Marlon. What are you doing on Saturday? Meeting up with Marlon. In Glastonbury. Oh, right. Okay. Do, anything, doing anything? Or yes. just gonna, like hold Severe hands aggressional fuck? corrosiveness of our livers, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, maybe watch a band. <gasps> what, a music festival? I thought it was well, literally for one. drugs and stinky sex. I mean... Well, I'm up for the stinky well, sex, yeah, man. I don't know if you are. All part of it, isn't it? You up for some stinky sex? <laughs> yeah, maybe some drugs. Oh, we can top and bottom in a fucking port a not we? Oh. No, no, it would have to be a long drop, wouldn't it? Well, oh, speak for yourself. <laughs> Did you ever hear the story about the pop-up pirate? Has anyone ever heard about this? The pop-up well, pirate. It's a game, isn't it? You, yeah. It's like a barrel on your put... Stick a sword in them yeah. and they fucking... Yeah, yeah, no, but there was... Do you never heard this story in the long drops? There was some bloke that got absolutely off his tree on fucking uh, manly or acid or some hallucinogenic. That doesn't sound like Glastonbury. He got in the long drop. Yeah, yeah that's... Um, oh, you're if I'm not much he mistaken. Has a, he has a name, of course. Yeah, Adam Wright from Wells. What? Shitey. That's how he got his name. <laughs> Shitey. <laughs> Adam you Wright. Mr. Pop up pirate. I'm fairly certain it is Adam Wright. If because it's, you if go it's... in there and go to sit down and he pop his head up and go pop up pirate. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like shitey. <laughs> shitey. But this way, right, this cunt broke into his nan's house wearing a mankini, a sombrero, and a machete just for a fucking giggle. <laughs> Mate, the lad's quite funny. Bobo. Though. I love him. I love him. He's not like that now. He's had rehab and shit, so he's all good, but. <laughs> I, a boring I, could, now. I could be fucking wrong, but I'm fairly certain that is Adam Wright shite from Wales. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Oh my God. Well, yeah, that's... that's. Are you going, uh, Glasgow? No. No. <laughs> no. You have been no, before, haven't you? Never been. You've never been? I, I I'd be fully keen to go. Yeah. I, I would, but You're if like I could me. buy a ticket about three weeks before... <laughs> I I cannot be fucked to put my name on a waiting list and lie about where I live and try and fucking well, I, 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 hate, I hate being on the phone. So the idea of fucking queuing up on a phone line to fucking buy oh fuck that. Mate, Your bedside plan would be was perfect so easy. on the phone as well. I, I'd like free tickets. Yes, what should just give me the fucking <laughs> tickets, you cunt. Oh, do you know what? It's not fucking worth it. Keep your fuck shit you. Pants. <laughs> fuck Emily Evis with a run up. <laughs> And I don't know who I'd camp with either, because every group's got fucking dickheads in it, so... <laughs> got a few mates, but, oh, they're staying with them, and they're fucking cunts, I don't know. <laughs> it's too much hassle. And I'd right. want to go home every morning for a fucking shower. The thing is, I literally, we, me and Marlon live, like, a fucking spitting distance from the site, and I'm still just like, nah. Nah, I just can't. I said the only way I was going to do it is if, I know it sounds really fucking pompous, would either be to hire a camper van and stay in the camper van parking. No, no, you're right, you're right. Big play. That does sound pompous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in it though like you just want a nice you know nice yeah. shower a nice bed but actually like, have a fridge the the luxury camp in there it's fucking ridiculous it is it was the only way I was going to do it was camp at the top of Pilton yeah. and then get your little mini bus down every day and it was like fucking 1700 quid Back and they, they had like a private bar but even the private bar was like stupid money I was like oh, but the thing is the if I stayed there, year I worked there if I stayed in that fucking private camping bit I'd never go down to the festival. I'd be like, no. this is legit, man. I've got showers, got a nice bar, people can are Can hear nice. the music from here? I can hear the music. What's the fucking point? The I first just, year I, just... I worked there, I was doing security and that was for HB security and it was at... I bet you come, I bet dock. you come, got so Hard, many... Yeah, dr- normally, yeah. So many drugs. No, well, no, the thing is, because this was off, off-site. Oh, right. it, was the, it was the... Oh, you were doing that? Fuck me, I can't even remember what the place was called now. It was that long ago, but... They call it Probably like it's Glastonbury order- camping, but it's not things to do with Glastonbury Festival. It was well, like, it's it's it, every fucker who's got a field around the area. I was just doing yeah, work absolutely. for some lady who does the same thing. I went on her little website to see how much she charges for these packages. I was like, well, I'm giving you a fucking idea, right? <laughs> 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 cunt. The problem is every cunt was breaking into that area thinking they were in the festival because they oh. had like a mini Glasto sign and fires and a bar and a big teepee tent like... Chef complex. <laughs> Thinking that was a pyramid up. stage. <laughs> Literally. And they're breaking in there and then they'd sit down and it's just like, can I see your wristband, please? And they're always fucking scousers. Always fucking scousers. And then you, got, you kick them out and they're like, oh, it was so easy to get into the festival. You're like, mate, you're miles away from the festival. Still <laughs> unlucky, shag. Drive on. Do you even want to get, just get on the fucking hop on, hop yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just it's going to be around in five minutes. Exactly Chance that. your arm. Exactly that. Go and sell your heroin elsewhere, you scouse fuck. <laughs> but fuck Glastonbury. 
Yeah, I've known. Nass is where it's at, isn't it? Really? Oh, mate, I'm <laughs> I'm keen as mustard. Oh, are we, have you got your have you got a ticket? Not yet. No, I'm, me neither. I'm just sort two of days before. Sort of thing. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Thinking. Uh, Me and Dave are going to Nass, mate. They're we're going. We're going to set some bins on fire. Oh, we are. Yeah. A few stabbings. We're going to be. I'm going to be a proper old cunt, and uh, I'm just going for the Sunday to go see the Wu Tang. <laughs> I can't wait for you to turn up in a Blink 182 t-shirt and get fucking beaten up for it. <laughs> you're old, you're not meant to be. And then some cunt just wraps his trucks of his skateboard around the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> we, we go in the morning to watch the BMXM. Yeah, should we go to... Oh, look at him! Look at him! Oh, get in the word. <laughs> no. Have we drawn straws on who's buying the cat? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine us on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. No, I'm keen. With well, your flat gonna... feet, mate, you walk wonky as fuck anyway. You don't need cat. Oh, oh I can't wait. The A37 is going to be littered in the little cunts, isn't it? It always is. It's going to be like Skittles. Oh, 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 knocking them down. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to wait for one of them to pass out dead on cheap roundabout. <laughs> Drag him back here. Grab him whilst they're still warm, Shag. Grab him whilst they're still warm. <laughs> I think the gimp's asleep. Well, wake him up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. What about you, Marlon? Is your right been, you can? Uh, yeah. Doing some Glasto prep. Oh god! Oh, put me tent up in the garden. Yeah, put me tent up in the but garden. Your waterproof tent does it. look majestic. Mike. She's honey. waterproof. Yeah, you waterproof tent. Yeah. What? what do you mean waterproof? On the There's inside, him and Chief are doing some freaky shit. <laughs> was, was that leaking like your escort as well? <laughs> <laughs> Always, just before Glastonbury. <laughs> and like your roof as well, you can. <laughs> fucking hell! We got fucking news about the roof. I, I get on that in a minute. Pint glass oh, as well. <laughs> Separate on that roof. I was having a think. If you can't find like that rooftop. Get one 3D printed instead of having the whole roof redone. Yeah, a few people have said that. Oh. You decided to ignore all of them? Yeah. Why don't you use that Claymore, mate, and just fucking wedge that in there? Because that's doing the opposite of what I want to do. Oh. I want roof, don't want a roof delete. Oh. Sorry, mate. Carry on. Um. Yeah, put the tent up. Went and got some new shoes, walking boots. Oh, God. Tell, tell him what breed. Tell him what breed. <laughs> I'm getting the words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you give us some shit, you <laughs> sketches. Mate, fucking they're so hell. fucking comfy. Yeah. I'm going to wear some fucking in those cowboy boots. <laughs> the soles are going to fall off them as well. Because why? Because they're fucking good year sketches. Yeah, I'm going to get a fucking flat tyre. Tires are going to delaminate. sketches. Well, yeah, I didn't buy them because they had Goodyear on them. Yes, that was... you did. You said, mate, they're fucking Goodyear. Look at these. <laughs> they're <run> flats, <laughs> isn't them? Fucking hell, well, you're better than getting into the turbos. The cunts would literally delaminate. <laughs> fucking remold shit. Probably Marlon's more... four foot higher. You're like, what's on there? <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking dackers, isn't they? Like? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else getting stuck in the mud. Marlon's just chugging off road. <laughs> Honestly, there's some off road tread on A, mind. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, what else have we done? Just so much dusty stuff. Think he's actually. It's going to be amazing. Oh yeah, it, it like it is amazing, everywhere. Yeah. Every year, you miserable cunt. Ugh. I've been five years. I'm. I'm just like nah. It's like last two years, I went. I was like, I watched. I saw one band, and I was like, this is just wank. I'm going home. <laughs> well, it's just not for you, then, is it? No, it's not. I think it's. I think it's because on my doorstep, I'm just like, yeah, take it or leave it. I've no eyes before. I've never been to another festival in my life. It's all fucking just full of dossers. <laughs> Well, it is, isn't it? I'd, I'd rather go and see a band just for the night. That's what I if do, I'd really yeah, cared. Yeah. Not that I do that. But. <laughs> no, not, not that I'd even think about doing that either. Too many people and they all smell. <sighs> yeah, just fucking miserable cunts. Anyway. Amen. Um, Amen to that. We're just jealous. <laughs> <laughs> the escort roof is here. It's here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's here. Is it I haven't on? even taken it out of the box yet. All right, okay. <laughs> Looks like a big job, so um, I'm going to probably take six months doing it. I'm going to say, well, I can hope it's full of roof tiles. At least you get some comfort out of it. <laughs> You'll probably do that in about January time when it's pissing down with rain. Right, that's it. It's going to come doing it today. <laughs> I know, I will do that. All right. This Every year. week I'm going to ask for an update. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Don't trip over the battery trickle charger you got permanently connected to it, all right? <laughs> It was there because the battery was flat, so I've taken it off now because it's full. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be one of those jobs that you wait ages to do it, and then it was really fucking easy once you've done it. Or, or he's gonna he's gonna wait six months, then do it, and realise it's the wrong part, and he's way past the fucking return <laughs> date. <Yeah. laughs> or it doesn't, it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, it's come from like the best recommended roof seller in well, well, the UK. Roof I can't seller. wait for you to be given that as way as a fucking free toy on the fucking Discord. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, this week, you thought you were getting pit vipers, <laughs> but instead... You can have my shag out <laughs> escort. <laughs> 12 months MOT. Yeah. Definitely went on the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah, I haven't really fucked anything else up. Technology can go fuck itself this week. Um, 
Yeah, fuck off. How's your week been, Reg? Not too bad, mate. Um, wife went away to a Hindu this weekend, so I was left unsupervised for three days. <laughs> um, which I think is is always the way. Whenever she goes away, for I'm like, I can do what I want. I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. So what did I do? Friday night, finish work. Um, usually I have like a routine, like everyone does when they come in back from work, like come up, come back in, say hi to the wife. She goes to the gym. I walk the dogs with her down to the gym, walk back. Then I feed the dogs and I clean the sides down and whatever else. Come back on Friday. She's not here. Immediately come into the garden. Um, and I'm just sort of looking around at shit. I don't really know what I'm doing. Then I'm like, well, I might have a pint of cider. So I pour myself a mega pint, start <laughs> drinking the mega pint. It's at five o'clock, man. I'm like, oh, right. Then I start looking at the tree and I'm like, God, that's fucking wank, isn't it? And then I'm like, oh, a pigeon out there. Oh, oh I'll, no. get, I'll go get a fucking rifle out. So I'm sat there, right, <laughs> with a fucking air rifle and two pints of cider and the dogs are scratching at the fucking door, crossing their legs, waiting to shit themselves. And I'm still there. For, I'm, and then I've just, I'm there for like a good 45 minutes. And I realize that I need to stop when I can't get a decent shot on any of the pigeons and they're going to fall inside of my garden. I'm like, yeah, I could get that one, but it's going to fall on the road. And who are they going to look to? Oh, no. Why has this pigeon died right outside of Reg's house? <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I had stops. I've got bad necks. I was looking up to him. <laughs> it's like 90 <laughs> degrees with this air rifle. Yeah. Then, so that was that. And then I, well, yeah, I got pretty pissed up that night. And, um, uh, Saturday morning come, went to work, come back. She's obviously still in this hen do. And I'm like, there's no food in the house. I've got food shopping. No problem. No fucking problem. I know what I'm doing. Getting to Tesco's immediately. Fuck. What what to, what, <laughs> what is what, a food shop? What is food? Like what <laughs> what is this place? What is she doing here? Like, okay. So I got myself a little basket, like a little mincer. And um there's no there's no manly way to carry a basket, is <laughs> no, there? No, there is, there you, is, there is. What, hold it over the shoulder. Oh, <laughs> Over the shoulder. Big play. Glare. <laughs> glare. Wide Couple gate. Of well, it's easy if you'd have a wide gate with your flat feet, but <laughs> wide gate, broad shoulder, <sighs> fucking growl at everyone. You can like hold it down. Excuse me. You can hold it down. Fractal like, broccoli uh, or a normal broccoli. What you got to do. You can hold it down at like full arm's length, but it bangs against your fucking shins, doesn't it? I mean, so you end up carrying it in the crook of your arm and you're like, I am a f <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> See, you've... Just don't pick up a basket. A what, balance everything. Oh, yeah, but you do that and it gets out of hand. So, yeah, I did my food shop. Oh, no, because it limits your food. So, my food shop for the weekend, would you like to know what it consisted of? You better have had cocktail sausages. Rustler there. burgers? No, I went, I just, I didn't. I, you know, you Haribo, to, nonce you, nuggets, <laughs> lube. I totally just lose, you totally lose yourself. I do anyway. I'm like, what? what <laughs> Bar of I, soap. What am I going to do? And I'm like, no string. Cheese is how much? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Never eating cheese again, you Robin Dairy cunts. <laughs> Um, yeah, so what I bought was, I bought a can of uh, Peach Monster, a <laughs> Red Leicester and beef sandwich, <laughs> a boost You bought bar. a pre-made sandwich? Yeah, a boost bar. I didn't know. So I wasn't looking, I, to be honest, I'm very short-sighted. I didn't look past that day. Um, but then <laughs> as I went around the food shop, I sort of realised I will need some more sustenance. So I got a bag of squashies. Um, <laughs> share bag of rebels um, and then I was like no no seriously Reg you need to think about some actual sustenance so I bought a loaf of bread and a tub of Ben and Jerry's and that was it um, <laughs> nothing to go in the bread Ben no, and Jerry's I, I was working on the assumption that I had butter in the house and I did so I will admit from Friday evening till um, till Sunday evening three of my meals consisted it's consisted of toast um, yeah, <laughs> lost a lot of weight. Uh, when she came back, I was very, very happy to see her. Um, yeah, and that was about it. A whole tub of Ben and Jerry's. Uh, felt very sick after that. <laughs> Would not recommend eating that one sitting. I watched five films, five fucking films while she was out. So yeah, all uh, of the Sex in the City. I'm guessing. Yeah, no, it was it was, it was Sarah Jessica Parker and her horse face. Just I don't know something about that. About the Ben and Jerry's, just crying into it. Um. <laughs> But yeah, it was good. I mean, I've fucking, I've, I've blown the, I've blown the back out of me fucking sec, uh, fleshlight. I tell you that much. Jesus. <laughs> Worst part was, didn't even put it away when she come back. I let it drain in on the sink. She was like, <laughs> good weekend. I was like, fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> you do some... realise like there are takeaways and shit that do deliver. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yes, but it's, they it's, fucking it's, do. But Shout out Marlon. It's expensive for one person, isn't it? You know what I mean? And? Well, it's just if well, I want I'm a kebab, I'm a kebab. Yeah, I know. We, if there's one thing I know, Marlon, <laughs> is that if you want a kebab, you're having a kebab. 
So yeah, that was that was that was about it really. It was uh yeah, pretty fucking sorry weekend. I really achieved nothing. I didn't even shoot any pigeons. Uh I got pretty pissed up, which was nice. But other than that, I was just like, Oh, I like you look forward to it. Like I've been looking forward to it for like a couple of months. She's going away for the weekend. I'm a free man. What do I do? Fuck all. Other than eat <laughs> toast and, <laughs> and mourn her departure. <laughs> like, oh. Cry wanking into a flashlight that was duct taped to the windowsill. <laughs> Gladys over the road fucking appreciated it. She was just like, what is that man doing? He just keeps thrusting at the window. What's his vase doing? That's a strange vase. I can lick in the window as well. <laughs> yeah, so that was about it. Yeah, so there you go. All right, should we uh, get get into what we're doing then? Well, probably, we best start uh, do, aren't we? Everyone's probably thinking when they're listening to this, like, when when is it going to start? When are they going to do this thing? And they're all sat at home right now or recording. Like, when are they actually going to do this? So yeah, we're not putting the number out yet because the phone won't stop ringing if we do and we're trying to do a bit of an intro, a bit of a fucking, you know, blah de blah. You know how we do. Um, so yeah, we just pretty much did like uh, just, just I don't know, just we just ask us anything, anything at all. Your problems, your life advice. Just want to listen to you, agony uncles. Anything, just literally anything. Ask us anything. So we've had a few in, and I've, we got the two most caring people we know on. Yeah, that was the main thing. I thought let's get some, you know, people that will give you really clear, concise, and great life advice, and they're in no way opinionated at all, and have you know they're very they're very middle of the road on the fence about everything. Subtle. Yeah. So we got Ed and uh, Ed and Spunkle on. So yeah. <laughs> right. Um. Let's let's start. This is a simple one. Should we start with a simple one? This one comes in from Stefan. 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 It it sounds like it looks like Stephen, but it's spelled like Stefan. 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 Zero one seven seven. Snap on or Mac tools. What is best? Snap, Snap on. on. Okay. I was going to play devil's advocate. Not that I own any of either, but I'm under the impression your opinion Mac- does not count. Then. Okay. I thought Mac tools were better. Everyone. I everyone I speak to who's about fucking the electric guns says Mac is the way no, to go. No, you. D- uh, that's because for, for power tools, Snap ons are pretty shit. Aren't yeah. They? Yeah. Don't, never buy a power well, tool from Snap-on. But That's then DeWalt's it. pretty shit as well. Yeah, so Dewalt always, always tight, buy yeah. Milwaukee. Uh, For uh, heavy duty stuff, I'd say Milwaukee's probably yeah. best out there. Silver line. Yeah. Who's this fucking Man, retard? Out out <laughs> Draper. Draper. Oh, oh 100%. 100%. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, big believer. If you don't need something very often, yeah. get it cheap. If you break it, then upgrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most of the stuff, go for the, the fancy Snap-on box, get all the nice stuff, because... Makes your work day nice. Having nice tools, but it does. Yeah, you're a big but, festival. Um, yeah, big festival yeah, I've got advocate. A, got but, a lot of festival. Loads of people hate. Yeah, it. but that's yeah, but that's car. It's like carpentry specific, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like having a workshop quality tools out on site. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm a big fan of Weera putting out of there. Oh, fucking Weera, not Weera. Uh, you know, like W E R A Weera. Their fucking stuff is unreal. I don't oh. think I've ever used any of them. Oh, have you mate. not? Oh, it's fucking, Ooh. it's gorgeous. Have you got their new Joker ratchets? Yeah. Are you have? Are they good? Are they, are they worth getting? Because I've been, I'm in an well, they, they, um, The ratchet in open ended. Yes. Ones. Yeah. I, I've got one. It's not amazing. Is it a bolt rounder? No. Oh, only, I've I'm only found a about. few uses for it. Right. A lot of the time I'll still go for the normal spanner. Mm. But um, it's nice to have. I've been, I've got the, um, Oh my god! I ain't got much. I got a. Uh, I've, I've got the lot. tool. The t- the t- what we're a stuff. Yeah, I've got about thirty of their bottle openers. Oh yeah, of course you do. <laughs> Jesus, have you I've got, got, yeah, got nearly every set they do? <laughs> have you got the Zyklops ratchet? Yeah, is that good? That, that is fucking brilliant. I got oh. the new one they released as well, the pocket one that's yes, got yes, so it's got the three eighths in the little set that magnetise on the front, and oh. then in in where you, normally a ball tent would be, yeah. like a three eighths ratchet. It's um that's like a hex drive for screwdriver bits. I'm gonna handle get a pulls out of it up for the boys, and if you're at home, look up a Weera Zyklops ratchet. Or don't that new pocket one. I barely, <laughs> barely used it. It's really good. Yeah, but it was, it was like things. fucking ninety nine quid or something. It's fucking expensive. Yeah, fuck. I, mean, oh, I just like uh, buying stuff to try it out, see what it's like. I will never buy Fakum tools. Fakum. Oh yeah. So when I was doing my apprenticeship, this. Fucking absolute cheese on toast, ginger, second-hand car salesman cunt rocked up in a fucking van. He's like, hey there, you. You're new to the trade. Follow me. And I'm like, get in the van. I was like, fucking here we go. So I get in and he goes, show me your side cutters. And I was like, okay, sounds. So I showed him my fucking Billy Budget side cutters. And he goes, but can they cut a penny? <laughs> like, oh, that old fucking I know, I don't trick. know. And when his cunt gets out some fucking well, if they side can cut cutters. cut a penny, they can cut a cable tie if they can cut a cable tie. <laughs> <laughs> Be your best. <laughs> this cunt gets a penny, right? Fucking goes to cut the corner of his one penny off, spanks himself in the face with a bit that flies off, and I'm like, oh, 
I buy those they, those ones there, and he goes, they're seventy five pounds. I said, yeah, but they're second hand drive. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the cunts on the penny, you brick. Yeah, fuck that. Never buy that shit. I also wouldn't buy Mac either because Brooks, he's a fucking nonce. <laughs> so. <laughs> Right, okay. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, that's, that's the, the, the thing that put me off um, FACOM is they're French. Oh, okay. Have a look at that. Yeah, I fucking hate the French. But I think they're owned by the uh, like Stanley Dewalt group. Oh, man. Oh, okay. It's got broken knuckles written all over the cunt, isn't it? I think it locks, doesn't it, Dave? Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, it, does. it locks yeah, yeah. in different positions. But even when you start using it as a hammer, does that little pin <laughs> that hold it in place? <laughs> but it's, it's great because you can twist the head on that and use it like... A screwdriver to yeah, get majority right, yeah, done, yeah, and then yeah. when you need to fucking get some crank, flip on it that. down. And... I'm a big, yeah. I'm a big lover of the Weira stuff, man. I love it. The Tool Check Plus. If you, if if you just anyone should have that. You know what the Tool Check Plus is? Absolutely no idea. Fucking hell, Marlon. Oh, you you need. I've, I, Mule's got one, and he was just like, you know, he's he's a mechanic, isn't he? So he he was just like, I have used that thing more times than I you ever want to know about. But um, Mule's got abnormal lumps in his body, so I don't trust a word he says. That's <laughs> mean. <laughs> I don't talk about my lumpy cunt like that. <laughs> His mum fucking hates it when I say that. Shout out, Dawn. I know you're listening. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's the tool check plus. I know this isn't very good for you lot at home, but you'll just have to look it up for yourself. So that's a tiny little ratchet on there that fits a screw. Oh, yeah, so it's like a screwdriver bit set. Yeah, with that yeah. and that and the that fucking... That little mini ratchet that mini ratchet. out the shit so yeah, many literally times. This, this week at work, oh shit. I don't know if I said this in the last episode. That looks like something that a cunt with tiny toolbox would buy. What? Oh, yeah, but it, I do have a tiny toolbox. And it's a, like ELC tools, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking EDC. ELC? Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought we had every, every, you still got the one you got from your white yes <laughs> What? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I had, a, I had a bit of a boo-boo with a, with a cob bike this week. Did I mention this last week? I didn't, did I? No. Um, so I'm driving a quad bike at work, and um, all of a sudden, uh, throttle just jams wide what? the fuck open. <laughs> yeah, that is the thing is when you're stood up on it and you get thrown back, it was like you're just trying to key off Reg, but you've gotten thrown back and then you've got to pull yourself forward to get to the key before and with you your Mr. Tickle arms, that can't be easy. Yeah, no, it's like pulling myself <laughs> seven foot forward and my little yeah, a little, 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 little. Well, yeah, it's not anyway, so I shit myself. Turns out the um oh motorbike people know what I'm on but I'm sure they'll be like oh Reg it's clearly this um, it's like a, almost like a little it's like a turny thing like that little semicircle that gets pulled like that when the when the cable pulls it throttle body I guess we'll call it that so tell us again yeah, about how the manly yeah. way to carry a fucking basket is what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that little fucking I was it was where you had to undo the like cover to get to this thing to unjam it and that little fucking tiny little ratchet got me right at that shit otherwise I'd have had to take the fucking exhaust off so there you go yeah so uh, Yamaha 350 Grizzly uh, just beware anyone out there 08 plate if anyone's got one it will jam that that fucking throttle cable will fuck you in the ass yeah, so was, wow, can you imagine eating that across the field. Oh, I was, I was, shit, I was fucking shit yeah. myself. Like we just, if, if anyone's ever had anything jam out and flat out, oh my god, the fear! And like you just won't go for the key. But is oh. he automatic? Yeah, ah. yeah. So there's no. Uh, oh, he'll just carry on. Going, ah, bah, 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 yeah. just no, carry on going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No just clutch the dip. Yeah, no. no you would, so like, the moral of the story is maintenance is key. Is yeah, that what you're even, telling me? Even like you're pulling both brakes in and nothing's happening, then you're like trying to reach for the key as you're going over unfocused. Can't fucking get the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if only it was like my little Polaris and I had the pull cord that stopped it around my wrist. <laughs> that would yeah. have been so much funny if it happened in the shed. I just <laughs> you can look at it back, just, yeah, just straight into the concrete panel at the back and just bent it up in like a fag packet. Yeah, no, that's right. Reggie's in hospital this week. <laughs> yeah, what'd he do? Drove into the back wall of his fucking shed. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, I'd have him for the fucking idea. If jump. the P38 was there as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, that was that. That was fun. All right, next one. Next question. You got it, Marlon? Do you want me to take it? You actually, no? You've got... I have got nothing. Okay, I'll just make sure. Right, uh, okay. Question for all, for this is from DRZ Mason. Question for all of you: Discovery or Defender? In brackets, old shape. Clearly, because you know it's no contest otherwise, is there? Discovery or Defender? Yeah, old like old Defender. I, I, I'm gonna I, say I'd, I'd say probably which, have to go L200. I'd, <laughs> I'd say hit Disco, Disco all day. Yeah, Absolutely. I'd, yeah, I would probably want a D5. So, well, I think he's. Well, I'm guessing he's saying. Well, I don't know. He doesn't say. I, I'd say non-specific. It, I want a D5. I'm, I'm assuming he's on about D2, but I, I'd take every Discovery. Don't matter over an old Defender. I'd take one with no fucking rear chassis that's rotten out, or one that's just you know bobtailed and absolutely wanked out and her fucking sister fucked all to hell. You know, with a light bar and all the shit. I don't care. I don't like the old Defender. <laughs> I've said it. Horrible. I'd rather have a disco. Seven. If I if I had to have a Land Rover, like a nice 
disco if somebody two. had a gun to my head and no, I had like, to make a decision, it would be what Discovery. What was the, the like, newer face? That, is it the D4s that were the, like... The last one, the Landmark editions with the like LED sort of almost like strip uh, DRLs around the headlights. Yeah. Oh, fucking no. Uh, they really... did them in a nice bronze. Oh, yeah. And they not, were like a slightly a newer version of the one that before yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I know okay. what you're saying. Yeah, so like the late D4s, they were fucking yeah. beautiful. I mean... And then they went all weird shaped. Yeah, they like, bloated and fat. Oh, yeah. Like, the new ones with the offset. We had like plate, um, and this urban shit. edition B5 oh. in. Looked fucking awesome. Really? I don't like the urban stuff, but that's just my taste. I don't know, the D5s look bloated. I'm sure they're fucking amazing and standing on the inside and do everything that a Defender can and more, but I just don't like them. That's just, that's just me, man. But have yeah. you ever tried a Badger Line Day Rambler? It's always another fucking option. A Badger Line... What the fuck did you say? <laughs> that, fucking bus pass. Yeah. Oh, the Badger Line! Oh, all of them. It's, it's in the Badger Line extinct now. I think the Badger Line's gone, yeah. Which is the way the fucking all Land Rovers should be as well. Yeah, for anyone who's listening, no, there used to be a bus job. service on the Mendips called Badger Line. So yeah, that's White and green... Yeah, well, I wonder why we had such a problem with fucking TB around here, because fucking so many of them, we need our fucking bus service <laughs> after it. I wonder what they call it in fucking uh, Bridgewater, the Smackhead Express. <laughs> Just Sister saying. Blister. Just saying. <laughs> Just a blister. <laughs> oh, Christ. Uh, all right, next one comes in. Uh, Nate Morrison, I have a question for you guys. Clearly in the profession to answer with legally pointing advice, how many years would it get you for accidentally pit manoeuvring cars hog in the middle lane or right hand lanes on motorways or dual carriageways asking for a mate? Um, I don't know if you get prison time for that if it's your first mm, offence. No, nah, yeah, you probably get your you license get taken off. Dangerous yeah. driving. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you, I think if you did that, you would either get um, could be attempted a murder. medal or a trophy from every member of every member of the driving public. Really, oh, fucking yeah. isn't that ever? There's nothing worse. Some cunts just don't have a fucking clue. They do don't, they? do they? Dave, you you love you love the motorway, don't you? It's one of your favourite things. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I hate people in the middle. I try to self police it and <laughs> undertake and beep, turn their cunt, or get in front of them and slow down. Not break check them, just let off. Yeah, just let and off. And then see what they do, and then like, accelerate <laughs> just, past, <laughs> just piss them, them off. Rapid downshifting. That's always a good <laughs> one. I have never met a more aggressive driver than Dave. He took us back from the airport once, and you, yeah, you were in the car. I was in the car, yeah. You remember what, you remember, I mean, I don't know what out you, Dave, but fuck, you know, oh, where was that? Flew past Snake doing 150 on them <laughs> yeah. three. Allegedly. There was that. And and then there was the uh, the BMW that, I don't know what he did, it was a one series, and he'd upset you by uh, just probably being alive and being on the road that you thought you were in. Um, and you overtook him and literally just fucking whap on the brakes and then put your middle finger out the window and just beamed <laughs> off. I was like, okay. And then you were like, you got up his ass and like literally bumper to bumper, just put your full beams on and you just like, I think on. he was full beaming me. That was, that was something like that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you, I see, he just accidentally left his lights on a bit long. So <laughs> Dave just like gets behind him. I'm going to ruin your life. On his bumper, horn on, full beams on with his finger out the window. I I, like, I've been known to go up Cheddar Gorge, get pissed off with someone taking in the sights, overtake them and then do 10 mile an hour for the entire tree yeah. of the gorge. <laughs> Like if you want to go slowly, then we can fucking go slowly, mate. I am going <laughs> Take to be... it all in, mate. Take it all in. You're only going to see it once, you cunt. <laughs> oh, that's something else that happened this week as well. So, you know, uh, Somerton Cemetery. Yeah. You know, it kind of like tapers in on that road, uh, that um, speed management little area. So it's like give way and all that sort of shit. Mm. Anyway, some fucking hooner had forced me into the hedge in my truck. <laughs> I mean, near side mirror had been then. This is a different truck. So I broke that one as well. <laughs> and um, so I pulled. <laughs> So I pulled over on the label to pop my mirror back out and I thought, ah, tickety boot. And I looked behind me and a person flashed me on. I was like, that's sound. I looked up the road, no one coming. Fucking ideal. On and gone. So I get me toe down and of course the old auto box took a fucking fortnight to get going. Mm -hmm. Exactly. More lagging than the fucking doghouse. And um, so I got on there. <laughs> Fuck it. Next minute, this fucking cunt in a Mercedes, Chris Tootail, was there fucking giving me the big finger and all sorts. So I was just went past and I was like, oh, I recognise that cunt. On go the anchors. And it's surprising how a fully laden fuel tanker <laughs> stop. The cunt bounces. Like, I didn't realise, but they bounce when they stop. <laughs> so I stick it in reverse. Obviously, I did my three-point check. Didn't even fucking look. Like, Chick full bang. chat backwards. And I was like, all right, mate. He's like, oh, all, all right, mate. And of course, he's boxed in now. He can't go nowhere. <laughs> And I'm like, you fucking cunt. I was like, you're lucky I'm wearing a livery or I'll be out this fucking window after you. And he was like, sorry, Ed. I was like, you fucking <laughs> sorry, cunt. Mate. Sorry. So I sorry. just drove off and I was shaking the whole way back to the depot and I thought to myself, shit. 
shit. <clears throat> All right, boss. Uh, might get a phone call in a minute. <laughs> by the time I got back, he goes, uh, a Mr. Two Tail just rung up. I was like, did he? He's like, nah, you can't. I was like, you <laughs> fucking wanker. <laughs> but yeah, so shout out Chris Two Tail, you fat prick. <laughs> He should have given it the big Fast and Furious one. Got the fucking, got the pipe out so it's filling his mouth up with 1040. Is <laughs> <laughs> see anything missing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ uh, alive. Right. Uh, next one. Uh, Reg. This is to me. Reg, has Marlon helped out on the farm slash cow work? If so, how, how, how would he, how do he get on being your bitch for the day? Uh, no, he hasn't helped out on the farm. No, uh, livestock is not for me. No, I think he would be. You dress a, like it. He'd be about <laughs> as good of a cowboy as I am a mechanic. We've said this before. You know, he, I think I think there's a reason we are in our respective jobs and the reason we pretend we're in the other one's job. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, no. Um, yeah, no. I no. Of, no, no. Uh, yeah, PS, keep it. PS, freaking love the podcast. Keep it lit. Uh, value stress relief to all the scumbags out there. So, yeah, cheers. That's all right. It's from George Nicholas Abel. So, thanks for that one, mate. Uh, next one, Yorkshire Field Sports. If you guys were a prime minister, what new laws would you bring in? Oh, ah, death, God, God, Dave, death to all middle it. lane drivers. <laughs> oh, there's too many now. I, I yeah, death to vegans. Now, what I do, right? Probably Turn the whole system upside down. As well. I get all the members of a certain race and gold make them French. wear a little gold... St- <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. And I'd use butlins as the camp. <laughs> and wow. all the old pontins. Yeah, I was going to say, can we use pontins, not butlins? <laughs> Some form of, like, compulsory birth control. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that's probably not the, a bad keep shout. Keep the population in check and... Yeah? And how would you... How, and, and what... what you, you'd have demo- to, what demographic I think I've said people? this before, but you'd have to, like, apply to have children. Right, okay. I don't think it's entirely a stupid idea. Tell me more about this, man. Well, you'd have to prove um, that you can financially afford them and you've got the space for them and that you're good people and then you get a bit ticked off. <laughs> who, decides you get it ticked off? <laughs> who decides if you're good people? The government? Uh, the I reckon the government is government. government. Jeremy <laughs> Kyle for it. I reckon that'd be a fucking good shout. You're a scumbag and a lowlife! No children for you! You fucking envelope collector! <laughs> me and Philip Schofield are off now. See you later. <laughs> Uh, so who's going to decide whether you're a good person a uh, committee that I personally select oh right yes <laughs> which D-P-R-C, is like D-P-R-C D-P-R-C <laughs> D-P-R-C which is like you and then three other people that look very much like you who are in fact just television screens of you <laughs> I don't know or just have it computer based just have like a checklist that they'd have to oh, be so able it, to meet so, oh, it's, so it's, it's done factually not opinion uh, oh right okay yeah. Right, so we're so what we're talking about now is a social credit score, Dave, much like they have in communist China. So if you're not a good person, you can't get on the bus. <laughs> Does that sound that bad? <laughs> and if they try and protest in a square at some point, you know, a bunch of students decide that they don't like this very much, we'll just get some tanks and some machine guns and we'll uh, make that problem go away. I've always liked China. <laughs> <laughs> Xi Jinping spunkle over here. <laughs> God alive. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, I'm waffling now. Ed, anything really uh, you'd like to implement? Yeah, I think it's only fair that we let people pick any sexuality they want as long as it's male or female. I mean, sexuality? Sexuality? Is that gender? Gender, gender, gender. thank you, sexuality. <laughs> you can't fuck each other, though. You can only fuck the other one, all right? <laughs> Yeah, just and any of the ones that do go straight to butlins. <laughs> <laughs> Pontins. Pontins, butlins. I don't fucking care. Yeah, You're just, going in the bastard camp. Just, just pick one of the two of them. That's it. And don't get offended if I say you look like the other one. <laughs> Simple as that. How about you, Marlon? There's too many. Ban the sale of Land Rovers. <laughs> oh, I need a job. Ah, uh, fuck. Death to a lot of people. <laughs> wow yeah what is happening what is happening though? I get irritated real easy same this, this... some some form of mass coal oh god the purge oh fucking the, hell mm. the have purge. you watched the new film no I haven't that's quite good I don't know because the purge yeah. is just like the rough poor cunts going after the rich people which isn't the way I'd want to filter the system there is a fly in that oh, that's fine <laughs> <laughs> protein <laughs> in it <laughs> get it. I can't watch a purge because you know, remember what it was like when you were young. You used to watch Power Rangers. You get really overexcited and just go beat people up. 
I feel like I'm going to do this to I'll be outside playing him through the speakers. My cookery comes out, the shotgun comes out, I stick a bowie uh, knife in my teeth, I get my dirtiest pants on, I go out on the street. It's just a bit... Straight down the brook at stores. <laughs> I, I was banned from playing GTA as a kid because it turned me behaviour bad. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking did, no. <laughs> So how was Nuremberg Ring anyway, mate? Was it all right? Yeah. You steal any other cars? Oh. Fucking any prostitutes? Or I'm no? going to tell you all a story now that I don't think Dave knows I know and probably doesn't. Dave doesn't even remember himself. Anyway, when Dave was young, he went round to a friend of mine's house and he had dinner around there, right? And his, uh, my mate's mum laid the table and uh, laid the table, you know, put all the fucking cutlery down and the glasses and that. And, um, Dave sat at a table, picks up a, <laughs> picks up a, <laughs> a cutlery knife and goes... My mum doesn't let me have these. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a true story. I will tell you after you told me that is a true story. I can get fucking yeah. through. <laughs> You know. <laughs> I'm pretty know. sure it's allowed cutlery. Why? <laughs> was it like a steak knife? I don't know, but I, that is exactly what you fucking said. Oh, the God's like, yeah, I don't know. You must have been young, young mind, but yeah. It was, Dave I, the spork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like in prison, all he was out was a spork. <laughs> wasn't Fucking he? love it. Fucking love wasn't it. Even, had to have, check his toothbrush in and out in case he sharpened it into a shank. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck no. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. What else we got? Uh, <laughs> Lewis Granville, eating your missus ass. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh, no? Never really got that. No. Fucking virgins. <laughs> Well, all about it. I don't give a fuck. They fuck get that it. fucking bunder in the face, mind. Yeah. Drill just... right on in there. Find anything. some gold. Just anything. Oh, <laughs> fucking oh, yeah, right. No, no more. No, that's, that, yeah, that's right the end next. of that done. Puss you up. <laughs> uh, right. Next one. This is a bit of an interesting one. Anonymous. Um, uh, I moved back to Sussex at the weekend and my first night back, I went home with my best mate's cousin and shit got real hot and heavy. Trouble is, she wants a lot more than I do. Now, my son's mother... Uh, now, my son's mother is now showing more of an interest again. We haven't been married for three years and I may have ended up slipping it in two pots in two days. What do I do? Continue oh. on the path you are on. <laughs> Drill it in as much of it as you can until it all dries up. Or it explodes in your face. There's obviously exactly. a reason you broke up with mother in the first place. Obviously. Mm. Yeah, good so, shout. think about that. Is it? Go on to New Horizons, Shag. What did he say? He fucked his cousin? No, your f his, his, his mate's, mate's cousin. cousin. Oh, mate, that's a quite a key word, mate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it says, changes it says, the story it says, dynamic quite a bit. It says Sussex, not fucking uh, Glastonbury <laughs> levels, you know, all that shit. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 not like Devon. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, back off the the ex missus. That's yeah, a given, yeah, mate. That shit. But yeah, it's as tail as old as time, it, innit? Keep it friendly with her, because obviously you want to see your nipper and that, but. Yeah, don't drop one into don't it, mate. Stick it in crazy. Coming that land. from you, keep it friendly. That fucking dreadlock, you patchouli oil cunt. <laughs> yeah, keep it friendly. <laughs> keep it friendly. You know, you want to see your kid. That oh, fucking mate, I'm, smelly. I've hippie. had a fucking marvelous week with that rat-faced fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> moving on swiftly. <laughs> Uh, that is it for now. We're going right. to uh, we're going to cut to a break. Um, we're going to put the phone number out there, and we're going to take your. Calls. We are going to open the phone oh, lines. The phone lines. <laughs> Caller number one. How can we help you? Fucking E is going to go down on the mendips. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, be back in five. Love you. Bye bye. And we're back from the fridge. Weird. I keep saying we. It's not. It's me. I didn't even go to the fridge. Yeah, all four of us went to the fridge. Yeah, held hands and everything's beautiful. Don't Any... touch my dick. <laughs> <Both day. laughs> Somebody touch my ass. Oh. <laughs> right, uh, before we get into the very week, massive shout out to the sponsor of this episode, JR Tree Land Services. Listen up, you agricultural cunts, right? you got a bit of land knocking around, haven't you? Nice little fucking pony paddock or something. Haven't you? Yeah, sure, I'm sure it's there, yeah? Yeah, you know, was, do you know what everyone else is doing at the moment with that little bit of land they got, or that old fucking that old little cattle shed they got, or that little barn? They're doing fuck all with it. Do you know what you should be doing? 
turn it into a fucking holiday let or an Airbnb or something like that or banging up a fucking log cabin. There's a lot of money to be made in all this fucking bullshit. A lot. And who, Marlon, would you recommend to do that kind of fucking work? Well, I recommend uh, JR Tree and Land Services. Specialising in fucking log cabins, renovations of older buildings. Do you guys know you can get something called uh, Q permission? Now, if you have an agricultural building on your land, and uh, I believe I am sort of stretching my plan permission knowledge here, it, you can get Q permission on it, which is any old sort of fucking like an old milk and bale or something. It makes your life a lot more easier to apply for change of use. Turn it into something nice, turn it into an Airbnb and get your man down there, JR Tree and Lamb Service, for full renovations. Like fucking like if this just if it's a shell, your man will come in there, he will turn it into some Airbnb dream for some fucking wanky couple from London that you can charge a thousand pounds a fucking weekend to. Just go and have a look at his Instagram. Yeah, some of the stuff he's done is absolutely incredible. So please check him out. Link in bio, link in the episode description, JR Tree and Land Services, all his contact details are on there. Thank you very much for sponsoring this episode. Right, Marlon, beer of the week. Let's go. What we got? So we have uh, Slash Blonde. Yes. Uh, there's an awful lot of French on her. Okay. So I'm feeling a bit uneasy. Uh-huh. Uh, so I've had to use Google Translate. Uh, right, um, And uh, if you could read the marketing bullshit, Marlon. I t- these things are just not stopping, are they? Don't blow it all over my shit, <laughs> Slash, son of water and fire. Beers from the wild corn's lineage are born from the purity of water and the power of fire. <laughs> Fuck off. You can't. <laughs> Behind her flame yellow dress, Slash hides a bouquet, spices and cereals. At the end of the mouth, it's all pleasant. <laughs> Something about <laughs> Neptune, which arises at the... Yeah, that's when Google Translate loses its shit. Brilliant. Uh, 7.5%, 330 bottles. Let's go. See what we think. By the way, for the listeners, we've literally just posted the number up. Which phone's going to ring, Marlon? That one or that one? The one in the middle. The trap phone. All right, so there we go. The You've got a glass. Very blonde. Oh, yeah, it's like a strong blonde, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's, it's almost like a German weightlifting, female <laughs> German weightlifting competition. That is just a strong blonde. Jesus, that's fucking rancid. Yeah, it's not. It's not for me, mate. It no. tastes like white wine, doesn't it? It does a bit. It's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit too blonde. A bit too floral. A bit too. Not the sort of chardonnay I want in my mouth. I wouldn't listen to anything Marlon said. What sort of <laughs> beer is that? <laughs> I got, I I got know, bored uh, and tuned the fuck um, out. Yeah, blonde, uh, fruity, is it like hoppy, l- lager, or IPA, or I don't know. Is oh, I shoot. It didn't actually say. I shoot. You, I was going to say you can like that. Is it just cigarette. a a blonde? It's definitely got Malto in it. Bit blonde. It belongs. And uh, according to the French one, it says it's, it's got an orgy in it as well. I was going to say, this the, is, this the is orgy, exactly the name of my favourite Pornhub search. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If you can't find an axe wound, make one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks for that. Right, where are we at on this? Because I'm, I'm. I don't really know. It's a bit. It's a bit floral. It's I don't a, like it. It's like a strong light beer, and I don't know where I where I, it's where not, I lie on it. Like, it's not offensive. What, no, it's what, not, what not horrible. It? I don't think I know where it stands. It's quite tasty, but I don't know if I like the taste. Yeah, I don't know how much of it I could drink either. Mm, not fuck for, me, seven point five. I like it a lot more now. I don't know. It's just it's, in restaurant. It fucking is. Uh, I'll start. Two. I think I'll join you there at two. Uh, yeah, mm, yeah. It's not. It's not deserving of a one. I'll give it. I'll give it a two. Uh, a two if as well. Was, if it was a lesser percentage, it'd be a one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm with you. I'm with you. So, are we going for a two all round then? Uh, yeah. It's not quite normal enough for a three. And the more I have of it, the more I don't like it. So, I'll mm-hmm. go for a two. All right then, yeah. So that's a as a two for what is it called again? I don't know Air. some wanky shit. <laughs> that's slash slash, slash blonde. blonde. Marlon, I'm gonna need to know the pin code for this thing because it's ringing. Hello, caller. You are live on line one. Hey, what are you doing? How hey, you doing, Shag? Who's this? And my name's Nathan, mate. Nathan, how you doing, mate? All right, what have you got for us? Basically, mate, I can't stand big fan before I start. Basically, mate, I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Right, so I'm 
got my girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. But I slept with her mother. <laughs> 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 it was a few weeks ago. Listen, listen, it's a situation. It was a few weeks ago, right? Um, yeah, I just, you know, I was, I was over at her house, a few drinks, you know, she went to bed, ended up sleeping in the wrong room. But, um, of course she did. See, the thing is, thing is, right, do I break up, then I can't sleep with her again. Like, if I break up with my girlfriend, like... Nathan, is that you? <laughs> and online too. <laughs> we have Nathan's oh. imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> and imaginary there, girlfriend mother. Yeah. Hey, I so, so, what's, so what was your question, Nathan? Are you, is it should he break up with it's her? Just, I need advice, mate. I need advice. Uh, so what, you know, what, what's your full name and address, Nathan? <laughs> <laughs> um, Shag, I, I, I think you've sort of, you've already made your bed here, really. If, I, if I'm being honest, I think I think you yeah, fucked it. Like, you fucked it from the start, drive. I, I think, think you should carry on yeah. as you are, mate. Just ride the fuck out of it. Yeah. All falls <laughs> just, apart. <laughs> just ride it till the That's wheels the fall off, drive. Are there kids involved? <laughs> Pinky. Hey. Are the kids involved? <laughs> <laughs> oh, could be. <laughs> oh. Talking now, boys. I'm getting the word. Uh, I, well, I, I think I think the resounding oh. advice we're getting here is just ride it till the fucking wheels fall. Carry off. on, Chad. Yeah, carry just, on. Just uh, just ride this yeah. thing in a battle at this rate. I think you, I think, right. I think, I think you fucked it. Right. <laughs> Cheers for that, Dave. Thanks for your call, mate. <laughs> See you later, man. Man. Good luck. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh, he set the precedent high, didn't he? Yeah. He set the precedent high. Dave, just yeah, yeah. Have you got his number? Can we post was, that? Was that? <laughs> Fuck it, ring him back. Was that not a lie? I, I don't fucking know. It's like we haven't got a screening process, Dave. You just you just no, ring I, up and just, just speak to us. It's like the last one that wrote him was like, "Oh, I fucked this girl. I fucked this girl. What do I do?" I was like, "Calm down, player. <laughs> fucking tell someone else about your imaginary fucking situation. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's possible when you lie." <laughs> Oh, you know, he sat at home in his mum's house, just playing with a cat. Like, oh, next one, next caller, oh. next caller, next caller coming in hot. Hello, you're live on the doghouse. Who's this? Hector, how we get on there, drive? Jesus Christ, he is speaking for a fucking You got a potato string. there or no? <laughs> how oh, you doing? Fuck. Oh, yeah, no, the old hand is not very good, is it? There we go, that's better, yeah. It doesn't sound like I'm speaking to you in a bathroom. Well, I drive in a fence, so some people would probably argue one and the same, wouldn't they? Ooh, shots fired. Could have been a Landini. Anyway, uh, landing and got hands pretty sad. He's still with a cord out of hand. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. I got a fucking like, old fucking <laughs> the old red phone there. Uh, go straight, <laughs> goes, go straight to Italy. Uh, anyway, what have you got <laughs> for us, Hector? <laughs> oh no, a lot. I was just ready, making sure everyone in the doghouse is living a dream and having a nice time. That was all. We are having a lovely time. We were until you rang, anyway, Hector. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we've got oh, a schedule you. to keep. So, if, have you got a problem or yeah. not? Exactly. <laughs> There's people tying nooses here, Hector. There's people swallowing hey. more than seven paracetamol, and you're here going, "Ew, shag, <laughs> fucking red phone, fuck off." Hector. You're backing up the queue, mate. <laughs> people are dying, Hector. People are dying. Oh, this is not the smart. Have you ditch yet, drive or not? <laughs> hey, what'd you say? Have you got to have his ditch yet or not? <laughs> hey! Yeah, I think I got him. He's only just home, told mate. us about. I'm gonna say word gets no, around. No, that was the around. second crash I told you about. <laughs> oh. For fuck's sake. How have you still got a job? I don't know, mate. Lie. <laughs> That's what the first caller fucking did, and it seemed to work, so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Right, well, any last words, Hector, before we put the phone down on you, cunt? Ah, uh, not really. Have a nice time. Keep shagging and banging lines, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Oh, I love <laughs> you, Hector. Love you, man. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> What a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> if we get oh, one oh, more fat, another hey. caller, another caller. You are live on line one caller. How can we help? Shag, how you doing on? It's Catman. Oh, it's yeah, Catman. Hello, Catman. Oh, it's Shag. Get me on. Yeah, good. Just heading down to Plymouth. Pick up a couple of friends and off the festival. Shag, I won't lie. It sounds like you're talking to us in a fucking muffled room. Let's just go then, shall we? Hey! 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 
straight off a hands-free fuck em. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> How we doing, man? All right? Yeah, good. You? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. So what have you got for us? Or are you just ringing us to tell us we're legends? Just ringing to tell you that you're legends, mate, to be honest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> Why not? Mate, apart, did... apart from that guy from the Somerset Hunters that you're clearly with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you uh, are you taking your lorry on holiday with you so you can take all your fucking t-shirts of yours? Oh, is that what you're doing? Uh, no, I'm not quite. Just the five series will do. <laughs> I've uh, six t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a sun boy, Catman. You're a sun boy. Uh, is there anything we you can know, help you with? My... Eh, not really, mate. Just ring up for a chat, <laughs> innit? <laughs> <laughs> I can see how tonight's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> just Dave's, people a Dave's here waiting to tell people to get fucked with their stupid fucking problems. <laughs> and everyone's just bringing we just got like, a load of fans. How are you getting on? You're all right. <laughs> get on, boys. All right. <laughs> all right, enjoy. Well, good to hear from you, man. Enjoy your time away. We'll see you later. Nice one. Speak to you uh, later. In a bezel. Love, Love you, man. Love you, bye. Bye, bye. Love you, bye. Bye. Fucking, I hope some cunt rings up and they're like, so I'm stood at the top of this ledge. Um... I'm Do a flip, down. you can't. Yeah. <laughs> kick flip, kick flip. <laughs> I'll talk them off of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, Dave. Yeah. So, how many children do you need? <laughs> you want more than one? Oh, you're going to have to. Oh, I'll have a caller. Let's go. Good evening, scumbag. How can we help you this evening? Hello, scumbag. Well, I have a question. Go, go on. My, my girlfriend wants a baby, but I don't. Do I just pack up and run or tell her no and let her leave me? Oh, Ooh, that is a very tricky one. Ooh, in all fairness. Fucking hell. I mean, right. how, how long have you been, with, you been with said missus? Uh, a year. A year. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. It's a bit soon. Ooh, not too much skin how, in the game. Um, how, how clever is your missus? Is she like quite, <laughs> quite like... Fucking hell. Is, is she thick as fuck or is she a right like? Uh... Probably thick as f she wants a baby after a year. Sound. We'll tell her the best way to get pregnant is in the bum. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep fucking driving it in their mind. Do, do you have any fi financial ties with said woman? No. No. Well, then it's one of those things, isn't it? It's like, do Simple. Do tell you her you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want I, did, I did think of that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've put me off women for life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to try outies, not any. <laughs> I'm now a chuck and ferret. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, what do I do? Oh, I if, if you were five like... years in, I'd say maybe have a think about it and compromise. But if you're a year in, don't yeah. fucking have a kid. Yeah, just tell her, what, tell uh, her straight what you want. If you don't like it, she'll fuck off. How old are you as well? That was if you don't mind me asking. Next, yeah. Uh, 27. My birthday was on Saturday. All right, all right. Oh. Fucking go about it. Fuck's sake. Send your card. <laughs> send your fucking card. All right, Jesus. <laughs> fucking someone's still trying to milk the fuck out of that one, aren't they? Uh, Happy drive. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I think drive you're 27. I mean, I'm I'm 29. I got no I got no visions of having kids yet. You're, you. I mean, your in, time's ticking. Are you I, ugly or are you quite handsome? Uh, fair. <laughs> right, so you, so, you're ugly seven. as fuck, aren't you? So I would grab hold of this situation I and I would fucking run with it, mate. I because... love how he rated himself like a car at auction. You can see him scrolling shed. down the vintage menus. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not new without tags, am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> Jesus, I've seen a few fucking post fans. <laughs> I'll drive it. Uh, you're 27. If it's Don't not, into it, if mate. it's not what you want, mate, it's not what you want. And exactly if you won't, if you won't compromise on it, then I just say, well, sorry, it's not going to work, you know? Yeah. So just, just just cut me losses and run. I wouldn't say we didn't cut say losses. I, did, I didn't say, I didn't say, say run in the middle of the night. No, I just said, to, you know, uh, explain to her why yeah. you don't, well, you do what you fucking want, mate. Have, have, a, have really a sit care. down, an honest chat, say, oh, maybe in the next two years we'll have another talk. She's not happy, <laughs> fuck off. Yeah. Well, in the I next think, couple of years we'll speak again. What Spunkle yeah, said. It will still be no. What Spunkle said. Have you I bought reckon. a dog? Have you bought a dog? Yeah, that's good shape. No. Do that. Get a dog, mate. Yeah. Do yeah. that. A oh, really oh, fucking a yappy show. puppy that stays up yeah. all night. That'll it's fucking dry twice for chief up. now. Yeah, I'm going to say shit. I've dragged that shit right out. I've got three dogs and no children. Trust me, it works. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to try that then, but I think I'll, I'll take your advice, boys. Well, fucking hell, God, I don't do that. <laughs> on which bit? The anal? The... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, the, on your Tinder bio when you finally leave her, do not put your fucking condition as fair. <laughs> <laughs> Look after yourself, young king. Well, you later. Cheers, scumbags. Cheers, bye bye. bye, bye. bye. Jeez, ah, that's a good one. Yeah, that see, there are so you just got to you've got to sift through the sift fucking through the thorn. fans. Yeah. We have At least it wasn't some cunt just saying hello. A voicemails. Holy shit, we're not listening to voicemails. We're and not, we've got texts as well. We're not listening to voicemails. We're Mark not listening off. to the texts because I may as well just get voice notes. I want to speak. I want to speak to people. Man. Uh, someone says, um, "Your da sells Avon." I don't, what's a da? <laughs> your, your da sells Avon. <laughs> yeah, nice one. <laughs> Fucking hell, Scotland. We'll set about you. <laughs> Can we ring some people back that you've got missed calls from? Yeah, go on, fuck it. If no one's ringing us, may as well ring someone back. They've all just given up now. Oh, Can we all just heavy breathe down the phone? <laughs> How do I know what's... Oh, I fucked it, mate. Right. He's going to do this. He'll start ringing. Yeah, the fucking shock in our life. <laughs> Who the fuck's this ringing me? I hope that Aggie is... Hello? Hello? Shags, Marlon from the Doghouse. How are you getting on? How are you getting on there, Marlon? <laughs> What's on there, Shaggy? Yeah. Hey, who is this? I recognise this fucking voice. I can. I, I will. I will try and talk. It's Dwayne. It's fucking Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm getting right? on your pair of absolute penises. Yeah, we're very well. We're very well. We're joined by Ed and Uncle Spunkle tonight in the studio. Uh, if, or, do you have a question for us, or have you just decided to block up our phone lines with your shit? Um, if you had to there put a go. pineapple up your ass, which end would you want first? Oh, I tell you the what, the big we... end. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Got something to put out with them. <laughs> <laughs> He's always thinking logistically. Yeah. <laughs> always. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just like, well, it's breezy, isn't it? <laughs> but they're barbed, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're barbed pointing. That? Is mm. breach an option? Can I put it in breach? Is that alright? What do you mean in breach? Sideways. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, no matter which way you put it in, jobs fuck drive. I mean, you're fucking... <laughs> Definitely. You're, uh, Maybe we should be ringing... We did ring him, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, which way would you put a pineapple in? This is, this is what we're asking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we rang you, um, <laughs> Well, quite simply, really, I would just chop it into small chunks and, you know, bit by bit. No. Oh. Stuff it in so it carries on giving, giving back the next couple of days, though. Like. Put it in as a puree and fire it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's oh. basically just an anus air freshener. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Pussy. Oh, well, thank you for that fucking <laughs> yeah, golden nugget. Thank you very nugget, much for that, mate. Um, we'll sweat. let you get on with your evening, Shag. Love your millions. Hey, Rose, can no I have some more Lily's pineapple? Can I have some more Lily's pineapple? Oh, fuck it out. Good evening, caller. You are live on the doghouse. How can we help? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Just ringing you from the other side of the pond over here. Oh, what? Ireland? France? Other side of Texas. pretty pond? Texas! <laughs> fucking <laughs> get Jesus. on! Yes, yeah, scumbag! <laughs> fucking hell, Marlon, that pairs you go, Sim's going to be wanked in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You're five pound of credit on the can. <laughs> <laughs> Call us back, Shag. Give us free rings. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't earned a fucking nine on Rex, Shag. What's the score? Well, so, oh, I'm out here on Ivis. So I'm out here running combines for the next eight months. I wasn't keen on it. And then Jeez. you boys lay you up on about Texas. That fairly got me G'd up for a run out. Fucking hell, Marlon. And how are you enjoying it, Shag? It's fucking too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon talks about titting around down in Texas in a Ford Challenger. Shag's like, I sound so good. I'm going to go out there and drive a combine for eight months. <laughs> fucking hell. Don't listen to us for fuck's sake. Anyway, what advice do you want? <laughs> What advice do I want? Yeah. Um, what's what, the whole point of this? The whole point of the fucking episode, you plum. Whereas we put on there, we're going to answer your questions, any fucking advice you need or anything. No, you just thought you'd bring up. Just be like, yeah, all right, you cunts. Oh, I thought you'd just ring up me to ask me some questions, to be honest. Oh, I've, got, I've got a question. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you picked you pick a bad day. Spunkles <laughs> yeah, here. No, no, no. Spunkles here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What sort of crop is, a, like, ready to harvest for eight months straight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's red hard wheat over here. So that will last us for the next four months. We'll drive all the way up through to Montana. Cool. Is it all oh, planted shit. at different intervals, but still grows? So like you're, you're driving yeah, through it when a... it's ready? Yeah, yeah I think it's, okay. you're, follow, you're following the harvest up. It's up, you're, you're Texas, so you're going north. Up through you? the middle of uh, America. Where Montana's m Midwest? Am I right in saying that? No? 
Definitely in America. Yeah, right at the top. That's it. Right yeah, on the Canada border. That's we'll cut it. To. You're literally going all the way from like Texas Central South to yeah, sort of Middle that North. That's where Central North the plants grow. Yeah, yeah. That's it, Dave. That's the no, one. Yeah. No, the, set, the middle of the USA. It's like there's a corridor going down through the center yeah, 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 where yeah, they. Yeah. That's where all the agriculture is. Because yeah. that's where all, like it's fertile and it's. Yeah. No, he's right. Yeah. He's fucking. Uh, he's yeah. fucking. Yeah. Right. Suck it now. Shut the fuck up and look at the wall. Yeah. What's your favorite part about US, mate? Um, it's not really a lot, I suppose. The trucks, <laughs> trucks are trendy. Uh, it's not, not really quite lot. Devon. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Oh, fuck. uh, one last question before we cut you off. Uh, jam first. Was that jam first? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good lad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shag. Great speaking to you. Enjoy your time over there. We'll catch you later. Alright, catch you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. See you later, Shag. Fucking hell, did anyone read the fucking... <laughs> I thought you were going to ask me some questions. <laughs> Dave's like, oh, I've got a fucking question, yeah, prick. Well, who's next, Marlon? Next on the fucking hit list. Don't ring someone in Texas, for fuck's sake. Did <laughs> they, they ring right? Yeah, he rang oh, us. Oh, thanks, I was going to say. Otherwise, we ain't ringing no one. Not without £5 credit or whatever. It's £10 and... credit on air. Oh, All right. Hell. God, fucking I only just realised I had a fucking bolt of uh, some add-on on my EE contract. £20 a month to fucking make calls from America. Come out from America, what, four months ago? <laughs> You're still paying, like. Oh, I was like, why the fuck is my phone bill, like, 90 quid? 90 fucking quid? Oh, yeah, fucking, oh, God only knows. Mine was only about 15 quid when I went over. What, the, Mexico? Uh, oh, like the was the it? EE bolt on? Yeah, the Roam Further Pass yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it was quite good because everyone else was with like O2 and that. And they were fucked. They were paying like £6 a day. Yeah, Jesus. it's hideous. Yeah, like, like really uh, Chiefs on O2. They, they had to get like um, uh, eSIMs over there. Oh, really? The local, like, the local like a local ones. one to do it. But um, yeah, I thought that wasn't too bad for it. No, we funny. got another caller right here. All right. Good evening, scumbag. You're live on the doghouse. How can we help? Is this child line? Do you deliver? <laughs> 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 Hello, Philip. How are you? <laughs> well, quite nice, actually. <laughs> I thought she was 12. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, oh, just hoping, I'm just hoping Gordon doesn't tell any stories. Fuck, I'll be fucked if they all get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drive, what can we help you? Have you got a question or any want any advice or are you just ringing up to give a shit like everyone else is? Essentially the last one. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Everyone's like, yeah, I just want to ring up the doghouse and just, uh, yeah, just give them some shit. Have you not realised what the Discord's like yet? Yeah, yeah. It's become quite apparent in the last, oh, whole fucking 18 minutes of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the, the thing is, really, I was just saying to the boys, you get to listen to this, was before we started, whenever we do like, uh, you know, ask the audience, uh, what do you think of this? Or tell us your worst sex stories. I have to sift through probably like... 90% of the shit gets cut out. So what I thought I would do for this episode is not cut anything out and just let you guys dig your own graves. <laughs> so here we are. And uh, you're fourth in line with the spade, my good man. If you want me to go big enough, I'll get a 360 out. <laughs> <laughs> That's known as a mass grave. And I want to know what genocide you're planning. <laughs> not another one this uh, evening. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, right, Drive, you got anything you got to add before I hang up on you? No. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, Ed sells Avon Love Kinger. Oh, wonderful. Wunterkin. I've had so many people message me. What's the number for? What's the number you've got up on there? What's it all about? Does anybody pay <clears throat> any attention to anything? To be fair, I skip through oh. your stories half the time. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Doghouse on mute on Instagram. Don't worry about it. All right, Shag, you're on the Doghouse. Who is this? He's put the phone down. He's <laughs> put the phone down. <laughs> Fucking pussy. <laughs> Who was it? Bre I don't know. <laughs> Just, I don't like, know. Fuck, it's a I literally said, all right, Shag, it's a Doghouse. <laughs> went boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Voicemail received, it said. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Well, we fucking don't say we didn't try. Jesus Christ. Shag, you're live on line one. How can we help? Fucking hell, I've got this awful rash in my crotch, lad. You ain't got a fucking ointment or something for it, yeah? <laughs> oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake, it just gets better. I can better. prescribe you, to, if you give me your postcode, I can uh, get you to the nearest sex clinic. 
Yeah, Lima November 1, 2 Alpha November. <laughs> yeah, I'll put my postcode out and live on the dog ass. Yeah, fuck. House yeah. number? <laughs> Actually, that, 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 that's the farm I grew up on, so if you want to send some rare shit to that old fucking coot that runs that fucking shit, <laughs> show, by all means. Fucking hell. There's us going out to actually out to the effort of getting a burner phone, people will be giving out their fucking postcodes on it. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Is this is this a fucking doghouse fucking um podcast, like fucking yeah. what is it, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, 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 I know it's the fucking podcast. I reckon I do. It's the fucking what is it? Not na- not nanny line. What do you call it? Fucking Child line. An- auntie. No, I get any uncles. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, have you got a question or are you just bringing up to give a shit? I just rang up to give you some For shit. I left you a fucking sake. voicemail about one of you cunts shagging my nan. But yeah, we're fucking <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, we've had him on before. <laughs> <laughs> we had him. We had him. Shagging we, his we, fucking missus, his mother or something. She paid her money. She took her chance. Hey, <laughs> hey, I've, I've, I've actually done the mother-daughter combo, actually. It's fucking, it's a rare achievement. I'm Sorry, mate, you're number two. Not, so, not so rare, as it turns <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> he got maybe the badge and everything. Fucking, like... uh, so maybe not in your fucking community, it's not. Fucking rare old bunch. <laughs> I'm going to say, it's about as rare as the fucking fire energy card in the Pokemon pack, Shag. It's getting... <laughs> you, you think you've got a Charizard, in fact, you've got a fucking trainer. <laughs> Please be original and uh, say no, the it's... father, brother, daughter fucking message rather than anything else, mate. I'm not interested in fucking mothers and fucking daughters now. Just spice it right up. Just lie to us. That's the other kind of did. <laughs> Just say, yeah. <laughs> Dave, Dave, for sure. what you say? Yeah, yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> fuck's sake where is it lighter <laughs> right have you got anything to add before we cut you off um, I want what I've got to, uh, <laughs> fucking northerners have got you got a spliff down lad for fuck's sake have you got anything to add before we cut you off uh, fuck your life bing <laughs> bong <laughs> oh there oh 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 hold the line caller hold the Good line evening, caller you are live on the doghouse how can we help you this evening shalom motherfuckers how the fuck are we hey! Oh, the di- hell, you dragged that one in as well, did you? Edward? <laughs> Charles, don't be like that. I don't give a fuck, Edward. After your fucking weird beardy mate called me fucking Charles earlier, and I want to rip his fucking spleen out of the little girl. Oh um, yeah, yeah there, there was a lot of tension in the Tinknell's yard that oh. day, I tell you. What means was a little bit sexual as well, because I'm a skull fighter cunt. Oh. Bottom line. Ooh. So, yeah, just like what's your question? Is it about sexually repressing <laughs> your anger towards my work colleagues, or what? Uh, well, that wasn't the one I was going to go for. I've got this weird lump on my anus, <laughs> and I'm just, it's, uh, I was kind of wondering what it is. That's the second person what we've prescribed cream is. to this evening. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, what I'm thinking it is, it might be a twin that I didn't know about. Because <laughs> you, you get it. You absorbed a twin. <laughs> it looks well, like you fucking absorbed a twin, you fat <laughs> 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 oh. so, so could it be a twin? Uh, I don't know. The last well, uh, it takes some advice from me. Last time I had a spot on my ass, I just got a needle and stuck it in there, and nothing came out, and I just bled a lot. So there's there's that's my two pence for the matter. All right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how you get on, mate. Yeah, cheers for that. Appreciate it, boys. That's you know all right. You got anything else to add before we cut you off? Uh, yeah, I'm walking through York. Uh, there's some pissed up people. It's quite entertaining. Oh, thanks for the gloves, by the way. I've got to say. Uh, yeah, you got him, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him. Like, oh, like the proper Amazon driver you are. Leave him on the doorstep. No, not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of, I kind of sort of went for the sexy Santa. That's what I've opened. Sexy Santa. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking June, Jack. <laughs> thanks, Gilo. Thanks, Network right, Brown. Head, right? <laughs> uh, peace and love. Peace love and love. Love you, millions. Bye. Yeah, bye. 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 Uh, we got one here. Best place to have a wank. Should we ring the cunt? Yeah, go on then. Oh, mate, yeah. Fucking right. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh. You know, it's going to say, you are out of credit in a minute. <laughs> pick up. Oh, it's painful when they don't pick up. Oh, he's, he's probably gonna... wanking now. You left it too late. <laughs> or shagging he's just... his mo- mother in law. <coughs> Welcome to Gift Gas Voicemail. Oh, oh Gift Gas! Gift Gas! Gift Gas! Gift Gas! Gift Gas! Gift Gas! Gift 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 Gift
You're not that interested. Love you, bye. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Remember that number? It ends in 3-2. Don't, don't answer the cunt in a minute. You had your chance. <laughs> Dickhead. No, we're scratching for calls. We you will answer. It. Yeah. <laughs> put, put another story up with your number. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please ring. No time wasters. Fucks. <laughs> they all started. They, all... <laughs> they all came at once. <laughs> they all came at once, and then no one could be fucking bothered to bring us back. Oh, oh. I tried. Oh, they've all got God. over their emotional stiffy. They're not interested now. They've all gone back into their missuses, and she's like, "Right, we actually going to watch this film together or what?" <laughs> He's out there having a cigarette like, yeah, two minutes, just trying to get through the fucking doghouse. Two minutes. Good evening, caller. You are on the doghouse. How can we help you this evening? I was meant to be coming up with a really good question and I fucking failed already. Abby Coombs! <laughs> there she is! You fucking champion. How are you, alright? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. You alright? Yeah, we're very well, very well. So you've got you've just decided to ring, but with no question. Well, I told you earlier I was gonna come up with one and then I kind of got distracted and I failed. And what did you get distracted by? Cooking tea. Oh, right, yeah. I know that 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 is really shit answer. That is terrible, yeah. You're crushing the you're crushing the uh the dreams of all your subscribers there. They thought you were gonna be doing weird things. Sorry, weird. I got so horny <laughs> and so stuck in so <laughs> Got stuck in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that should be my answer. <laughs> I was just too busy fucking on the top of a fence. I just didn't have time. It was crazy. No, I was cooking tea. So yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we can help you with. There's nothing we no questions for us, no nothing. Just thought you'd uh, just thought you'd bring up just to get like everyone else this evening, just give a shit. Yeah, so uh, it, has there been quite a lot of shit? Yeah, most yeah. people have just rang up to be like, oh, I just thought I'd ring up, see how you're doing. Like, yeah, to be fair, it's all been shit. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole point... Oh, God. Go, shit and lies, that's all it's been. I, I've kind of done this to just show how how much dross there is when you when you ask the audience for something and how much filtering there is to do. So this time, I'm just not going to do any filtering. I'm just going to let, let the listeners hear. I know, because I could come out with a lot of inside jokes that um, me and Reg have had today. I just feel... That's it, throw me under the fucking bus. Yeah. Yeah. Always fuck Jesus French. Jesus Christ, fuck everyone's like, what have they been talking about? Uh, no, no, can't be, can't be shared. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> why, why have you gone so red? Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, fucking she could... <laughs> Fucking doll caught me on FaceTime to Abby, didn't she? For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. The best bit was when I said, is doll home? Oh, yeah, fucking hell. I... She goes, she goes to me, she sent me a voice note. She was like, oh, are you with, are you with Molly at the moment? And then start kept, I was like, oh, instantly. I'm like, no, Abby, go on, no. I can't be vetting your nudes. Jesus Christ, I'm a married man. She's like, no, no, I just got something funny to show you and I want to see your reaction with doll. I was like, oh, fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, that reaction was fucking mint. It was what I expected. It was, well, it was well worth it. It was well worth it. Do you have any questions for us before we cut you off, Abby? And you go back to doing weird kinky fence shit? In the washing machine. Um, I feel like I should have questions, but I feel like because I speak to you all the time. Um, Steady mind. Everyone's going to be thinking I'm having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really bad now, put it like that. <laughs> Can I just say everyone in the doghouse is looking at me like, what God, in the ever-loving fuck? Yeah, I should have thought about this more before ringing, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're joined by Dave. I just and thought I'd bring up... Sorry, carry on. I just thought I'd bring for a chat at this rate. <laughs> I've been on bed station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Real hard, real hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it, mummy. Thank you, anyway. That's 50 quid. I won't Hold be on, seeing Jimmy, you'll be ringing me on babe station. Oh, yeah. Not the other way around. <laughs> But this is this is 2023. Yeah, yeah. Equal, equal rights, Abby. You know, let's, let's close that pay gap. Is that are we oh, speaking to this oh, yeah, last time? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, we're literally looking at your air freshener right You've now, Abby. You've got a cracking ass, mind, oh. haven't you? Oh, not a flat one. No, no, not at all. No, this no. is fucking. This is fucking inflated as them tires on the fucking fast track there. I got a question for you. Did you shit on that tractor when you got off it, or? <laughs> What was that? You're, you're, straddling, you're straddling it fair wide there. Well, I'm sure you uh, <laughs> might have left a little summit, summit on the bonnet there, I know. To be fair, there is a video on TikTok where I've literally left my ass print. 
out of dust. Oh, that's something I wanted to ask you, Abby. That's our summit. What was going on on that TikTok live you did the other day? I don't have TikTok, but I heard all about it. Oh what the fuck God. happened? Like, do you want to give us the well, inside yes, track? Because I. Well, I'm worse, see. Th- there's. There was not a lot that started it. I was just on TikTok live. Yeah. Packing orders. And in my in the doghouse hoodie, I'd like to clarify. Big up, big up. Um, get, get your promo out there. Um, and I just saw like you can get like invites to lives, like, and he HS Tiki Tok, who the fuck he is. Who was that? Asked me to join. Tiki Twat. Tiki Tok. Right. Yeah. Twat. <laughs> um. <laughs> let's, let's look the cunt up, shall us? Keep going. Yeah, and just joined my live, and that's a bit like, meh, just about, and Christ ain't he a knob. <laughs> well, I won't lie, he does look like a bit of a bell end. I, I put him on an Instagram, and it, it on Google, and it came up with internet celebrity, and if you ever have... Ah, uh, one of those. If ever your description is internet celebrity, you probably need to reassess your Yeah, he looks like life. an internet celebrity. Where's the rest of his beard? <laughs> well, did you see the whole... Like, someone screen recorded the whole live. Yeah. And he just thought, farmers didn't shave. Farmers didn't shave? Uh, yeah, apparently. Rog? Like, what in the farmers world. have you been with? I was like, I think you've been with vegans, not farmers. <laughs> um, oh, and then he got a bit waspy when I called him out for renting his car and not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> What car has he got? I don't claim... Um, well, he claimed to have bought a Lamborghini. Oh. Definitely an aunt. Yeah, the, the first car of the man who comes into money that doesn't know what he's doing. Shall I buy a house well, and be financially responsible? What, no, no, why I'll not? A, I'll get well, what does r- Philip Schofield drive? Transit van! <laughs> <laughs> With free candy written on the side. <laughs> <laughs> or like, what is it? ITV <gasps> apprenticeship applications. <laughs> <laughs> sign inside <laughs> no because if you get in the doghouse applications I know what's happening <laughs> oh! just got the, the P38 casting couch down there <laughs> <laughs> fake taxi to fuck like oh, gee. <laughs> well, I haven't got any money or there's only one way you can pay the fare <laughs> oh fucking hell right Abby we're going to let you go thanks for calling that's <laughs> alright sweet you soon bye <laughs> love you soon. bye 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 bye, bye. Shag, you are live in the doghouse. All right, Matt. All right, Matt. Matt. This isn't Matt. Oh, no, not Matt, Matt. I've been told to give this number a ring, Matt. (laughs) (laughs) Go on, Matt. How are you, Shag? Oh, yeah, not too bad, Matt. Who the fuck is this, Matt? I've been given this number. It's Marlon here, Shag. All right, Marlon, Matt. How Uh, are you, Matt? Yeah, not too bad, mate. We also joined by Reg here. I have no... Who the fuck? I'm driving... uh, all right, fuck it. Drive. Who the fuck is this? Because you are. Oh. You... <laughs> you go guess, Matt. I'm not telling you fuck all, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> have you got an issue or not? <laughs> this is all some I'm Irish cunt, isn't it? Third week's fucking shit, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> this is an Irish cunt, isn't it? You know exactly what this is. Alfie Johns, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too bad, you fucking Kerno cunt. <laughs> hey, it's Kerno Connection, eh? Hey, it's Connection, not cunt. <laughs> fucking Kerno Connection. I'll fucking connect you at the top of this bar if you come in here, you bastard. <laughs> Best part of JWA, isn't it? Shag, I, I've tried this number 41 times. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just sat in the bath here. Like, I was scrolling through TikTok and then Snapchat rudely interrupted me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, um, TikTok. Yeah, definitely scrolling through TikTok. <laughs> hey, TikTok's pretty handy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we just had Abby Coombs on, weirdly enough. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say that. I was going to say something, but I won't all refrain. <laughs> no, go on, say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm too scared. <laughs> oh, I value okay. my livelihood. Is there... <laughs> Is it uh, Coombs? He can end a career like that. Uh, <laughs> How many coolers you had on so far? Then? Don't know. Lost count. Um, sort of get a drag a shag. I, I'm fucking. I'm staring at the twelve four, thinking I might as well just end it all now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's been fucking painful. Oh fucking hell! Well, I can't believe it. Forty two attempts later. No, well, you got <laughs> so through in the end, shag. Just keep going. Just tell the boys. Keep yeah, just tell the boys to keep <laughs> fucking ringing. 
if you keep ringing that, that one girl that they they inevitably uh, inevitably will pick up. Yeah, you just wear them down. That's You'll all you got to do, them. boo. We just we just kept seeing it, it and we're like, nah, fuck them. <laughs> Restraining order won't stop a phone call, will it? No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, right. anyway, anything uh, else? Anything... I'm going to finish washing and be back. Right, okay. Well, have a lovely time. You got anything else to add before, uh, before we cut you off? Um, Asher Hedger needs a refresher driver's course. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> I'll see you later, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> see you later, Matt. <laughs> Love you, bye. Corner, you are live on line one. How can we fucking help? Ah, the right number. Yeah, there's uh, only been one yes. num- one number drive, but yeah, carry on. What can we do for you? Yes, I accidentally rang an old man who was confused when I called him a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way! No way! No, you did not try and type it out from the Instagram story and type the wrong fucking number. <laughs> yeah, but only by one. Ah, yes, the right scumbag. <laughs> How, how far into your problem did you get until you made <laughs> Shag, I've shit myself. Like, what is happening? Who is you, man? Oh, it's Drive, what, what? Oh, fucking hell. What can we help you with, Drive? Um, I, I don't have a question. I have a proposition. Oh, God. Oh, hell, well, let's be fair, that's better than most me, shit. Uh, me feel bad. so strongly that me exit all should always remain me exit all before we get into any negotiations. It, it, it's non-sexual, unfortunately. Thank God. Um, right. <laughs> Um, I have been piddling with AI voice uh, regeneration, and if you would send me, I think it's half an hour or 45 minutes of podcast individual mics, I can recreate your voices if you would like. That is a terrifying fucking thing. Wow. weird as fuck. They do that. If somebody what what did, would you it, plan to do with it? Wank. I mean, half of you know, I'm not <laughs> Now, are you going to tie our voices to any of the sex crimes you've committed? <laughs> you just ring up Met Police for your confession. I've yeah. seen this on CSI. The children you've kidnapped, just tell us where me. they are and are they safe? <laughs> can we can we have a call with them so their parents know they're okay? <laughs> we need proof of life. <laughs> Why did this into hostage too negotiation? Far away and I don't get signal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get signal underground. <laughs> Oh Christ! Um, individual mics. Do we? I don't know. Do we want AI fucking versions of ourselves? Out I, there, I don't consent. That scares I, the it, shit can, out of me. Which is something you probably hear quite I a bit. Promise. I can promise that I, I'll, I'll not do any. Um, uh... Wow, you're taking too long with that <laughs> no, answer. No, no. I, I <laughs> solemnly swear. I'm trying, to find the, I'm trying to find the right word to say. I'm not going to use your voice to scam random people. <laughs> not for nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. No. Right. Well, uh, because well, it was it, actually, it was very very mean phoning my mum pretending to be Philip Schofield. <laughs> no, you didn't. You fucking didn't. She did not like it <laughs> one. Minute. Oh my fucking god! That's fucking brilliant. That is. Mm, I've also I've also got Prince Charles's and no um, girlfriend. <laughs> no girlfriend. No. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate! You are all kinds of creepy. Do you know that? Oh, shag, shag! That is um, <laughs> that's fucking did scary. That is... Did you expect anything different? No, no. I... Out on yeah, the yeah. Net. To be fair, when we, well, we 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 know our audience. We know we know we know what we're getting ourselves into. To be fair, cultivating creeps. <laughs> <laughs> It's like fucking scouring through the depths of 4chan and the deep web. That's what our fucking audience is, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. I was normal before I started listening. And I <laughs> 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 yeah. Fucking hell. All right, Drive. Well, we'll, we'll be in touch. We'll be in touch. You're going to need a, a, their big files, mine. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll try and sort some out. And uh, we'll leave, we'll leave oh, you I... to do some weird shit. Please, please don't make us confess to any fucking... Jeez, uh, it, it'll make you know what he'll do. He'll get he'll ring up the just, Met Police and be like, "Yeah, hot, know, right, Shag, it's red know. here. I was the one that shot Jill Dando." <laughs> do you know? I was just about to say that. Were you? Yeah, that's <laughs> creepy. It's, <fucking laughs> it. it's already in your head. Jesus. Right, Shag, you take it steady. Uh, we'll uh, give you a shout at some point. He's gone. Right, let me wait. <laughs> fucking hell. Well, that was one of the weirder propositions I've ever had in my life. 
I, I'm sweating. I'm sweating after that. Shit, you not. I mean, Dave's opened the door, but... I literally feel like... You know when you see... Um, what was the thing about the bomber? Oh. And he rung up and he started mocking him. Who was that? On, uh, on, on Netflix. Fuck me, I've forgotten what it was now. I should probably think before I start speaking. Oh, um, oh, uh, there was... Uh, God, Mark... Mark Co- was it Mark Copeland? The nail bomber. Yeah, that's the cunt. Yeah, and yeah. He, he rang up and started mocking him. I feel like that's what that phone call was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was something. Oh, I'll tell you what. Have you? Um, he is not getting my voice. No, he's not getting mine either. What? He's not getting my voice. What, what do you want to do with it? I went for a piss. Uh, he <laughs> wants to create AI versions of our voices so he can get us half an hour of our voice, like individual microphones, so he can get that. us to just. What was say, what was the purpose of it? To, to get us to incriminate say incriminate us for it, shit. Literally, that we done. just to just to have our voices and get I us. I did to not say have it. sexual relations with that man. Can you imagine just me saying the n word like a thousand times <laughs> over, just constantly? I mean, no different from you just stopping recording. I'm gonna really. say all he'd need to do is get the uh, unedited files, and uh, you'd have it there. No? <laughs> just there, taking your bed sheet off as you walk <laughs> into the doghouse. <laughs> if you if you could be asked to do a recording, you could just type it out How do you on mean, a Thursday uh, night. What? Oh, well, was, oh yeah, oh yeah. You literally write like, a little script. Be like, yeah. hi, it's Reg on the doghouse. Oh, we could just AI generate. We could AI generate a whole fucking episode. <laughs> Insert Muttley laugh. Yeah, that is true. Fucking hell. The fuck do you want now? <laughs> I just got one thing to say to you, man. Just remember, relationship is like mass test. When it gets hard, fucking shake. <laughs> that is the worst Connell impression I've ever heard. Are we still alive, or are you just being cunts now? No, no, still, no, no you're still you, fucking you're live, live um, and you're just showing people... I your... don't know how the fuck you managed to get through twice. You know, people though, I've rang a thousand times, I still can't get all of the cunts. Well, cunts like me blocking the line being a cunt, well, fuck you, and fuck the fucking lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say hello from my favourite person to raise. Oh, fuck off. Really fuck off, fuck off, fucking Fucking dick. <laughs> 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 enough now <laughs> enough is he gone <laughs> Shabbat Shalom you're live on the doghouse you're speaking to Reg Ed and oh, Spunkle fucking, here we go here we go boys it's Kinger how are we how are we doing Shag alright what, what can I help oh, you I'm with not... oh I like to be honest boys just thought I'd ring oh, you up oh for fuck's sake you're just ringing what up to give a say? shit and you got any wow. juicy gossip uh, juicy gossip, juicy gossip. Come on, give us some secrets. Well, I mean, I've got secrets, but Marlon might get a bit upset when I reveal that he revealed things, but wow, wow, wow. This is the safe space. We're so we're all friends here, Shaggy. <laughs> oh, who's on the fucking line? It's Marlon back from the pisser. He's literally been having a piss. Uh, he was like, answer the fucking phone and go for a piss. So you're just ringing up to give a shit just like everyone else. Wow. Oh, it's yeah. fucking... Fuck oh. you, fuck your face. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you too, mate. I've missed you too. Last time I saw you, you were passed out on the floor at the truck test. So I was having a little nappy now. Was, was he face he's... down or face up? He was having a little lie down. Yeah, he was in, a, in a vulnerable position. I've like, done a reg. He's done a little sleepy sleep. You, you, you should have fucking pulled his strides down and fucking put him face down. Gaggy. Well, it would have yeah. If he'd have been face down, we'd have left him there, and then we would have just made this the Reg and Ed show, I reckon. <laughs> oh, valid bless. point. Well <laughs> valid, valid. Have you got anything else to add before we cut you off, Shag? Because <laughs> everyone's just ringing uh, up to speak no. to us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. No worries, mate. Bye. Bye-bye. Right, big love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Shabbat Shag, Shalom. Shag, you're live on the doghouse. How can we help you this evening? <laughs> Shag nuts, how are we getting on? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. How are you? Well, that's sunshine, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I fucking rang about 900 times. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fuck, a lot of people have got some shit to say on a fucking Tuesday night. And it's all well, been bollocks don't. so far. It's all just been people ringing up to say hello, so please tell us you're Andy, not ringing up to say us. hello. Say again. Enlighten us. Enlighten us? What do you want to know? No, oh, fucking you hell! Ass? <laughs> Tell us something your mum doesn't know. Oh, well, my mum doesn't know. Uh, one time in band camp, I uh, stuck a flute on my arse and managed to bleep the alphabet out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, um, there was one, uh, Tesco Hanley. I apologise profusely. 
Um, I had to use the toilet because I got caught short. It's all toilet based, to be fair. It's pretty much the humour we go to. And I didn't have enough toilet paper, so I ended up ripping the cardboard, which then pulled the thing off the wall, which then I grabbed all the red cord, pulled that, which pulled out the roof, set the alarm off, and a woman came from the cashier and I'd fell over, not the sink off the wall, so there was water everywhere, basically like a fucking murder scene. And I'm laying on my fucking back, covered in water with me and shit, and no fucking trousers on. Just use your boxers next time, that's what I did. <laughs> or a sock. Yeah, it's Remember sock. in Prague, when I blocked the, blocked the toilet in the downstairs <laughs> club, I've told that story so many fucking times. Fucking hell. <laughs> How's that went well for you then, Drive? Uh, say again, you broke up then. I said that went well, went well for you then. Uh, as well as it could have done, to be fair. It was just a series of unfortunate events that followed each other. For fuck's sake. Right. How are you boys, anyway? We're well, we're well. Don't worry, you're not only the 14th person to ask us how we're doing. We're just, we're just fine, Shaggy. We're grand. We're grand. Right, then we'll fuck you, then. <laughs> <laughs> when you listen back to this episode, you'll fuck fucking you understand why, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, anything else, to, com. anything else to add before, you, uh, before we cut you off, Drive? Um, fuck you, Reg. All right, fuck you yes. too, Andy. Love you, bye. <laughs> Love you, bye. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Hello, Shag. You are live on the doghouse. Oh, Shag. <laughs> How you getting on out there, Phil? Fucking hell! I'm just about watching a bit of TikTok and turn the fucking TV off. <laughs> <laughs> and then those oh. fucking pricks from the doghouse decide to ring me. Oh, man. Fucking long fucking day. That's it at three this morning. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm up again again at two o'clock. Fucking not like you lazy cunts. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Five northerners, isn't it? I'm not in bed, actually. Fucking northerners every time. <laughs> fucking <laughs> 25 hours a day, I fucking work. I'll have you enough. For fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> have, have, you got a, have you got a problem for us? Anything on your mind? Oh, what have I got a problem? Um... Yeah, I'm fucking sick of breaking down. Louise is breaking up lorry of ours. Fucking Jesus scan you, isn't it? Today, honestly, <laughs> a fucking Here today has been a bastard nightmare with it. Nightmare. Is your Volvo all right, then? My Volvo's all right. Well, it says something there, doesn't it? Volvo all the way. Oh, I like get the blame for it. Hey, I get the blame for it, Marlon, because I took it out on Sunday. <laughs> hey, you took my lorry out, didn't you? Broke the content, you know? <laughs> I come back off my holidays and you broke it. No, no, he, he fucking wheels off it he can <laughs> he was flat oh, to the mat he saw him clocking like... 70 <laughs> he got him too much I was just thinking who's this who's this ringing me I thought it was a fucking who's this ringing me in this time <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night and it's an unknown number <laughs> fucking hell I thought it was some bird ringing me <laughs> <laughs> hey whoa it's steady hard up in the labour like <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking oh. hell right anything to add Phil before we cut you off Anything happened? No, yeah. just keep up the good wit, scumbags, and I shall see you at the piss up soon. Oh, we'll uh, see you soon. That. Love you, millions, mate. Take it steady. All right. Ciao, ciao. Bye. 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 Anyway, before we fucking fuck this off, one massive last final shout out to the sponsor of this episode, JR Tree and Land Fucking Services. Marlon. Let's go. Marlon, let me paint you a picture, right? I'm you're, ready. You're a farmer. You're a fucking bloke. You're a whoever. You got a workshop, right? And what is every workshop fucking full of? Shit. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. It doesn't matter how big your work workshop is. Even if you built it your fucking self or whatever, you've uh, built it 15 years ago, you'll just be like, fucking hell, this is plenty big enough. No, it's not. It's full of shit. It's fucking... You fill the space, don't you? You will just fill the fucking space. But you know what the thing is? It's probably, what, fucking... What, 20 foot to the eaves, I expect? Big old fucking place like most places, you know? Mm. Yeah? That is usable space. That is usable space. You know what you fucking need is a mezzanine floor is what you need. Imagine all the more shit you could store. You could nearly double the floor space up. Literally. All the fucking wank shit you got down on ground level, bang it up there in storage. Engines, gearboxes, all those fucking nuts and bolts that you swore you needed and you couldn't throw out. Or that fucking piece of wood that you thought, oh, that's a nice piece of wood, I better not throw that out. <laughs> all that fucking shit. Get your man JR Tree and Land Services to come in. Ignore their fucking uh, their their account name, their fucking business name. They do anything. Drive. There you go. Get him got in there, banging a mezzanine floor, all the fucking storage space you could ever need. 
fuck that. Even put put a fucking farm office up there. Put a fucking staff room. Put a break room. You utilize put a nap the, room. They put utilize all the fucking space you've got. Where I used to work, they had a fucking garret mezzanine with a staff room up there because then it, uh, and an office. So there you go. I mean, otherwise it would have just been wanky use of space where fucking pigeons fucking nest and Ed shoots. So you know, there you go. Make the fucking most of it. He's laughing. He knows the score. So yeah, hit up your man JR Tree and Land Service for, li- for literally everything. It, the, the options are never ending with this guy because I've got so much to talk about. So massive shout out to you for sponsoring this episode. Right, finally, we're done. I've been Reg. I've been Marlon. I've been fucking disappointed. <laughs> Same. <laughs> right, and uh, that's the end. <laughs> no. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Until next week. No. no! <laughs>